The following program is a collection of stooges talking about happenings in the sports world. It is meant to be comedic informative. The opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, their boss, or ESPN. There may be some cuss words because that's how humans in the real world talk. If you are a young, please seek permission before watching any further. Hey! Why? Let's go! This show stinks, and the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers. You pig! Damn it! Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. Could change their life. We want that! We want that! Sports! 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 Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to our humble abode, the Thunderdome, on this Mania Week Monday, April 1st, 2024. This sports program starts now! Sports are fantastic. Sports are wonderful. Rabbit, rabbit. Hope you're not being fooled by anybody into any pieces of uh, news or advice that is only there to trick you mm-hmm. on this April 1st. I am so incredibly thankful and pumped to be here. The Elite Eight for the women is tipping off this evening. The Final Four has been decided for the men's college basketball tournament. The awful kicked off this past weekend. Yeah. There's magical moments. We'll have a UFL update here in a matter of about 10 to 15 minutes with the two stars of the weekend's opening kickoff. And I'm not talking about baby face rock who was wearing tank top and yep. thanking the Why? fans Why? drinking Terra Mana when we're just five days away from him and Roman Reigns tag teaming in the biggest tag team matchup in the history of the WWE as they will fight uh, Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. Wow. Now, a lot going on around our NFL world as well. Things that are, you know, a little bit off season mishaps. For yep. sure. And then maybe some rumors and stories. Got a lot of guests mm-hmm. today. A lot of guests today. Mm-hmm. We'll have a UFL update that'll bring two characters in here in, in about 15 minutes or so. In the second hour, Kirk Herbstreet. Herbstreet! Hey, right. Yep, Kirk Herbstreet, okay. man that you know wow. from uh, College Game Day, yep. Amazon Thursday Night Football, yep. College Primetime on Saturday, mm-hmm. and then also he's the voice of 2K, which is wow. coming back, I do believe. And if you know him personally, you know that he's been on mm, 17, 18 different beaches over sure. the last few weeks. At, at least. Is that not accurate? Talks to Table at Boss Connor Ty Schmidt. Mm-hmm. Con man, great dragon. It's going to be good to see Kirk Herbstreit fresh off being a little sun kissed. Yeah, yeah, it'll be great. I assume he's got like a uh, castaway type beard like down to his nipples, probably mm-hmm. just because, like you said, he's only been on a beach since the national championship, but he's deserved it. He's deserved every second. He certainly has, especially with all the years of – he's been the voice of college football for like three decades. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never, ever stopped. Got those incredible blue eyes. Oh, yeah, that's my what God. Keeps oh, the Pierce baby Street face, soul. blue uh-huh. eyes on Kirk Herbstreet. And then we'll be joined by L. Duncan. L. Duncan, obviously, on the coverage of the Women's College Basketball Tournament throughout. They have crushed it. She has killed it. She came on a program uh, at the beginning of this whole thing and said, hey, look at the favorites. Yeah. Whenever you're talking about this entire thing. So then you look at who's left, it's mm-hmm. like yeah. all the names. Yep. Right. We got UConn, USC, what? Iowa, what? LSU, what? South Carolina, what? all the big names. Mm-hmm. And yep. women's college basketball are still in it here in the Elite Eight. And it's a beautiful thing. One half of the hammer, Cowboys, Tone Diggs. Have you found yourself gambling on the women's game or have you stayed with the men because this weekend the men's basketball was phenomenal? Mm-hmm. Now, whenever you start thinking about Going back to back. back. This UConn Huskies team, they had a 30 to 0 run in the yeah. second half. Yeah. 30 yeah. to 0 mm-hmm. in one half of basketball. Team couldn't quit at 20 0. Couldn't, couldn't say no more nope. at 25. Very rare in any sport ever, especially one in the Elite Eight type time, will you find a 30 to nothing dominant display. Normally officials or refs get involved and say, hey, enough is enough. Wow. If in boxing, one person lands 30 straight and the other person lands nothing, somebody's throwing a towel or the ref saying, hey, mm-hmm. this thing is it 30 zip in the second half. And it's like when they decide to flip the switch, I put this tweet out, it is literally just like, yep, uh-huh. it's over now. Mm-hmm. In the second half, I don't know what happens at halftime. I don't know if they're playing with two different 
game plans. Uh -huh. I don't know if they're coming into a game with two game plans and the first half they're playing one and then the other team's making adjustments for that one and then in the second half they're just doing something completely different or if they just tighten down the second half because they're like, oh yeah, oh we got to win this one. Okay, yeah, got to win this game and then they just kill everybody. They have covered, what, 12 straight games or something like that in the, in the tournament? I mean, they are... This is a wagon. This is a machine. Yeah. It's an honor to watch them kind of do their thing. They have to be cheating. There has to be some. How can every everybody's playing by the same rules? Yep. And this team is this good? Because if they're not cheating, job well done. Job, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah, as far as gambling goes, they are the wet bandits because you just turn that water on and you just let it soak, baby. Oh. Yeah, 10-0 ATS and straight up mm. is the run that they are in the last Jeez. two tournaments. There it is, yeah. And it's it's not even close. You don't, you're not even sweating. Exactly. Blowout. You're just letting Sit back, relax, and then just count your money at the end. They're dribbling the ball out at the end of games so much. Six oh, yeah. possessions. It's just not even a, And joining us is a UConn legend, a UConn stud. Mm -hmm. NFL genius, ladies and gentlemen, Darius J. Butler. Yeah, hey, baby. Oh, he bought you look super cool today. Thank you for joining us. Great to see That's you back you. in here. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Belt buckle. I feel like a McBee out there. Mm -hmm. Always play. Doing some light ranch, a little Parker McCollum. Yep, sure. I didn't earn this one. I didn't ride no bull eight seconds, but I'll tell you what I did do. Walked into a cowboy store in Houston. A guy named James James, I believe is his name. <laughs> he had a belt buckle on. I said, where do I get one of those? Jim, and Jim. James James, JJ, told me, I'll go get you one of these right here in the back. Asked me if I wanted to put anything on. I said, I don't earn that. Yeah. Just give me the big one you got. He mm -hmm. said, you got it. Jesse James, James James. Jesse James James, I think was his name. Hell of a name. Hell of a That's name. Strong. The most cowboy guy. He's also the one that told me, bang! Oh, yeah. Snake skins. Yeah, yeah, those are sweet. Yeah, he said, also, you want nice boots in here? Yeah, of course I do, <laughs> Justin James James. I absolutely do. So he did that. So thank you for the acknowledgement. A lot of people, I, I understand I'm not an actual cowboy, but I'll tell you what, I think they look cool. Yeah, yeah feel like one. Yeah, and it makes me feel like uh, if I saw a horse walking down the street, because there are horses that uh, run down roads. You yeah. bet. Mm -hmm. In certain parts of the United States of America. Yeah. Here in Indy, I got one. I used to drive home. Yeah. Pendleton Pike, people would ride their horse mm -hmm. sure. to places. Mm -hmm. Absolutely down absurd. Florida. South Florida. I, I like to, what's that? Down in South Florida, too. Some what's that? Spots, Davey. It's too Wellington. hot. It's people too are hot. riding horses oh, to yeah. places? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I, I feel like when I have this on in the boots, if I was to be in Davey, or if I was to be... I could hop on the back one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. easily. Compton, Compton, Compton Cowboys. They did that breakdown before Thursday Night Football one of these uh, weeks this yeah, year. Yeah, where they have uh, oh, horses yeah. and yep. little Compton. Yep. You don't yes. need a saddle. Anyways, thank you. You look really cool. Not as cool. Neither of us look as cool as like Dan Hurley does. As no, well. no, no, no. He no. is seemingly a uh, basketball psycho. Yeah. Okay? Through and through. But in 2020, I think I saw a press conference where he said, you better get us now. You better get us now because it's coming, he said. Yep. And boy, mm -hmm. has it. This UConn team, you've played, you've paid closer attention, I think, to them since the beginning of the year. You're like, ah, oh, reigning national champions, UConn, whenever right we would drop it into a fake conversation somewhere <laughs> of course. about college basketball because we don't follow along as closely as we should. We got other shit going on. We apologize. Mm -hmm. Like, I just learned about Dalton Connect. Okay. Yeah, what a player. Hey, he's a good ball What, what, what a little case, Tom and Aga, But nonetheless, this UConn team, is this how they've been for two years now where you only see them and I only see them in the tournament? They, they did this all year? Is this just how they play? And is this forever now? Yeah, is this and what and UConn is now? And obviously, they've been great for a long, long time. A bunch of great coaches. Calhoun, Gino, what he's done on the women's side for so many years. Up there in stores, it's just, it's just a, a championship pedigree once you go up there to that, uh, that program. Um, but, yeah, they've been like this, especially all this year. But coming in this year, they obviously had a chip on their shoulder to run it back. Where the number one overall seed, I think I heard for the first time, time in program history this year, which is wild mm. to even think about Congrats. all the legends that have come through there. But um yeah, it's just it's it's all gas, no breaks. They go into that halftime, whatever it is. And it starts with defense. Their defense is just smothering um all up the court, front court, back court, and uh obviously yeah, every every game, every game, no sweat, like you said, covering double digit um spreads every week. It's been a good it's been good to be a UConn fan. That's you know who you much. need to be scared of? Mm. Nobody. Forty point machine. Yeah, look yeah. out. Giant machine. Dude, biggest machine I've seen sometimes. Big Edie? Oh, Big Edie. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Uh -huh. The locked in, seven foot ten mm -hmm. monster of a man who's able to run back and down the court for the entire game. Mm -hmm. They give him a couple breaks, but it's almost like sitting down is more of an effort to get back yeah. up than him to run back down the court. This dude is a monster. He was fouled, obviously, a lot. Yep. And Tennessee fans are saying, he's bad for basketball. He's bad for the game. He's bad for who's your game, man. Yeah. I enjoyed watching him score 16 straight in the Elite Eight in the second half. I enjoy listening to all the people that are actual basketball players say, hey, yeah, he'll he'll have a home in the NBA. Yep. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, because he's seven foot fifteen. Yep. The guy mm -hmm. is so monstrous. He's got some touch. Now, 
I would say. He could probably work a little bit more on the DJ BJ. Sure. Yeah. That is baseline spin. Yeah. Is that the biggest he's lock in the tournament? Yeah. <laughs> so if he gets to here, that <laughs> thing's it. Yeah, it's over. He is awesome. I love their not. But Zach Eady is a weapon. I've loved getting to know him through we meet him at the SBs. Yep. I'm standing on an elevated surface, like a ramp. He's down on the ground. Just like he did with cutting that net. Yep. Mm -hmm. He had a big hat on, one of those cartoon hats. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looked. Meh. Yeah, like a little bit bigger, a little but normal. it looked like yeah. it kind of fit. And he dapped me up, and I'm eye to eye with this guy. And I'm like, hey, good to see you, man. It's good to see you too, or whatever. And he said, I watch the show. I know the guys. I just talked talk to some of the boys. And he was like, good to see you. Well, with the dad, was nice and clean. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we need to start paying a little bit more respect to this guy. <laughs> yeah. And then we started watching him play. It's like, this dude is on a on a, on a a path to greatness. And last night, he says, you don't know us. Mm -hmm. You don't know. And then he drops F-bomb oh, yeah. in the middle of promo Sweet. afterwards. And then he would go on to say that maybe blood has rushed to his baby maker mm -hmm. afterwards this dude's awesome for the game people are saying he's bad for the game i'm enjoying watching the big fella do his thing he's done now right he's going into the nba yeah. they got him in yeah. mock drafts uh -huh. yeah, yeah. oh yeah so we can only potentially watch him in two more basketball games mm -hmm. i want to see him with that clinging guy i, I mean yeah, there he is go. there he is this is awesome college basketball has some it's different than the nba basketball. definitely and now, granted, there was some terrible basketball happening in this college basketball March Madness thing. Oh, For sure. Yeah. There were some bad teams. There were some teams that's like, okay, go to LA Fitness, you'll see some of that. But once we've gotten down here towards the end, <laughs> there's been battles, dude. Battles. Yeah. Clemson, Alabama, answer, answer, yeah. answer, answer. Purdue, tennis, answer, answer, answer. Now, UConn just beats the shit out of everybody. Right, of yep. But it has been a lot of, like, dog mentalities. And I've enjoyed every single second of this final Elite Eight, Sweet 16, yeah. going into the Final Four. Big weekend for basketball. Yeah, huge. And the people who say AD doesn't have a place, like, he's going to be a pro. He, he There's mm -hmm. a chance that mm -hmm. he goes and he has, like, a Giannis, or not Giannis, excuse me, Jonas Valanciunas is what a lot of people are calling him, who's just another... He's the big meathead who looks just like Travis Kelsey for yeah. the Pelicans. He oh, gets like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he gets like 15 rebounds a game. ED can do that easy, but I don't get why he gets hate for the foul shots because he makes free throws. Like, people who are 7'4 or 7 feet or above, they're not good at free throws per se, at least in the past. And he is fantastic. At the bottom of the bucket. Ah, threw up an air ball, though. He yeah, did. yeah. Right. 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 But then what? Too back, late, back. But... Then he makes then the he next Then he blocked it, too. Yeah, next he play, he blocks the big shot. Yeah, block connect on, on the drive. The Tennessee people saying he's bad for basketball. I kind of understand it because Dalton Connect watching him play basketball is unbelievable. Uh, everything he does is so smooth. Yeah, what's he, like 6'6", six, six, too? Yeah, oh, yeah, big son of he a can bitch. Fill it up. Yeah, he can shoot. He can go Dude, to the I saw hole. one of these. I saw, I saw one of these. Yeah, he, he's... Up under, I'm like, whoa. He's blur. There's yeah. a lot of pressure on Purdue, too. Oh, yeah. Everybody's a ton of pressure. shit to bed. Even though they had a great season, it was a one seed, but, you know, when they get to this time of year... They always... Piss down their leg. Mm -hmm. What's well, it been, they, 44 years or something like that? No? Not 80. Yeah, something. What? I think it 40 something. Yeah, since they've been to the Final Four. Damn. They were saying it yesterday. It was like 1980 yeah, something. A lot of numbers are getting thrown at us, but yeah, I think it's since think 1980. It's, yeah. Okay. 44 years. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Middle yeah. Easter. Too. Hell yeah. I feel pretty good about you it. You should. Mm -hmm. Hey, congrats to basketball. Everything's going your way, seemingly. Yeah. College basketball. At least. Go Whoa, ahead, Foxy. Man. What were you going to say? No, I was just going to add to that. Like Tennessee fans were just mad because Edie shot a million free throws and only had one foul. They're just saying that's impossible. How does that big of a guy only have one foul? And then they're calling him all on the other end. Well, he's so tall, you see. So literally, all he, he doesn't have to jump or move. Exactly. Not a lot he's of just fouls. gone. Now, granted. Boom. Now, granted. Straight up and down. Did they sway one way more than the other? I mean, that's basketball officiating. That potentially happens. Mm -hmm. But I, I could see how they feel cheated. But if you right. watch them, like, we could probably run a bunch of the clips. Actual fouls. They're yeah. like, because he's so big. Got to. Yeah, it's, it's hard <laughs> not to just foul a big guy. And uh, on the other side, he's – he's, Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's hey. teeing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. He's, I saw him out at the three. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what the hell are you doing out there? You need to get your big ass back <laughs> underneath. And then somehow he catches up, somebody blocks him. He's – I think he's awesome. Humans oh, yeah. aren't supposed to be like that. That ain't what, that ain't what humans are. So it's nice to get a glimpse at it there for a second. Well, and he said, like, he, he made it a point to be, like, more conditioned going into this year so that he wouldn't have to. Because, you, like, that that's what it's been in the past, too, is, like, when he goes out of the game, teams just go on runs. And then it's like he goes back in. It's like, all right, we got to go back to Edie. He's kind of got to get us back into this. Yeah. But it's also a credit to him because, like, that's what, that's what teams used to do with Shaq. He was so dominant. It was like, all right, well, we'll just follow him because yeah. he's going to shoot 40 to 50% from the free throw line. But if if you have a guy who's shooting 70, 75% from the line, 
you can't you can't put him on the line 25 times because he's going to make enough that it's just you can't get out of that hole. So it's a credit to him for actually like he he kind of can he can do what he needs to do to not make teams be able to just take him out of the game. And with that being said, Purdue on a run, maybe the only team that can stop this wagon mm, that is UConn. Right maybe who knows? We'll see. Uh, Indiana State going to win the NIT. Here we you go. Know, and the most amount of players still left in uh, the NCAA tournament are from where? Oh, the state of Indiana. So, Indiana basketball putting on. Hoosiers didn't make – I don't think they were even yeah, invited to the NIT. They didn't them. make it. I don't even think they were invited to the NIT. No, the CBI. But and, yeah. Purdue about to go on a run. And Indiana State was supposed to be in March Madness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're probably still around too. You know, with the way probably. Rob Wave was playing at that time. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar doing his thing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's pivot away from college basketball. Let's go to professional football, shall we? Oh, yeah. That's how it's being phrased on the internet. And I do appreciate it because it is professional mm-hmm. football. And it is football. This weekend, the UFL kicked off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... A UFL update! Yeah! Right. Huh? Yeah! Oh. yeah. Woo. UFL update! Hi-ya. Hi-ya. Now listen, there was four games, obviously. We were able to keep track of all of them, and we knew exactly who was playing, and it was a USFL versus XFL lineup type weekend. Now, how much are the teams are the same? How much are the situations are the same? We will never know, but how about the Stallions? Getting a big time win over the Arlington Renegades. Congrats, Birmingham. Go, Stallions. Hey. Hey. And now let's go to the St. Louis Battlehawks. They lose in a close one to the Michigan Panthers. Well, no. the person that put the last three points on the board there is going to be joining us in a matter of moments. The D.C. Defenders, another XFL team. How'd they? They lost to the Brahmas oh. of San Antonio. We'll be joined by uh, their punter in a matter of moments. And then you got the Showboats. Yep. And they beat the Roughnecks. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. They did. They did. UFL, I'll tell you what, they got new kickoff rules kicking mm-hmm. out from the 20. They got some true line technology with yeah. lasers in the ball. Mm-hmm. And they have uh, also a kicker and a punter that stole the weekend. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us now from the Michigan Panthers, kicker who hit a 64 yard field goal back to uh, back, back to get a massive win in the first weekend of the UFL. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Bates. Jake. Jake. What's up, brother? How's it going, guys? Okay, so first of all, incredible stuff. The one you hit, uh, a sec- no, well, I forget. Let's run the clip. Let's run the clip. Because what happened was, and a lot of people didn't know this whenever they saw the clip originally, a 64-yard field goal was hit to win a game. Holy shit is my first reaction. I wasn't watching live. Then I was told, no, it wasn't just a 64-yarder. It was actually two 64-yarders because they iced them, but before... They could stop the snap, so you got to practice. Try look, murders the Damn, ball. Pure, absolutely murders it. When you hit that first one, is that a sign of relief, or what is your thoughts here as you hit that first one? Um, I mean, honestly, at this moment, I don't really remember what I was thinking about. I just remember that um, I heard the whistle and hit the ball, and then I kind of walked like ten or fifteen yards by myself, just you know, reset and. Kind of the whole thing about, you know, being a kicker is being able to hit the same ball every time. So Hell yeah. um, that's, that's what I tried to do on, on the second one, and, and luckily was able to get it in. Yeah, and like Jake just said there, after the icing, they bring him back out. That's Anthony Beck, head coach of the St. Louis Battlehawks. Battlehawks, good team. Oh, good yeah. good yeah. program, Strong. good ball club. Calling a timeout there, trying to ice, send you back out. And this is the one that you would see on the internet because, boom, although the commentator says line drive kick, yeah, right, you, that – That ball was murdered. (laughs) Absolutely slaughtered. So let's go into your story a little bit here. They talked about it on the broadcast about how you hadn't kicked a meaningful field goal since high school because you were a kickoff specialist, and then you went and played soccer, I do believe. You were always kicking field goals. You just couldn't control where the hell it was going? Or did coaches just see your massive leg and decide, we'll use you on kickoffs, and then we'll have somebody else kick field goals so they can focus on that? How did we get to this point, you think, Jake? Well, at my two schools that I played football at was Texas State and then Arkansas. And I mean, I think both of those places I was, you know, I thought I was ready to kick field goals. um, But I was I was behind two guys that were really, really good um, at Texas State or Seth Peller. And I think he holds like every record there. And then um, at Arkansas behind Cam Little, who is probably going to be, you know, the first uh, first kicker off the board this draft. So, um, I mean, it was it was tough because I'd go to camps and kick with other guys, and I thought, you know, I, I deserved a chance, but you know, it wasn't my moment. I think, you know, God had another plan for me. He, he was telling me to wait, and you know, as as 
I, I stayed, you know, patient, stayed, you know, true to true to myself and, and who I was and trusted the process and, um, you know, never gave up. And, and it's hard to it's hard to never give up when you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But um, luckily, you know, I didn't. And, and, and now I'm here. Hell yeah. Keep going. It only starts now, brother. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already heard, you know, everybody is interested in this 64 yard field goal making back-to-back -back kicker in mm -hmm. 2024 you know like this is you've turned so many heads murdering a ball on opening weekend let's keep going now okay obviously you've worked yes, your sir. ass off to get here let's keep going let's make every ball let's get to the nfl then we're doing that in a super, could you imagine a 64-yard walk-off? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you know what I mean? But you have the mindset to be able to accomplish it. I, I, as you were telling your story there about being a back, and you get a tweet from The Rock. Whoa. Hey, let's go. Final boss. Yeah, Final, that, boss. Final boss. Yeah, my brother, my, my brother sent that in our family group message, and just like, this is nuts. The, the Rock tweeted at Jay. Yeah, well, hey, you're one of the biggest stories coming out of the opening weekend, pal. You're going to be one of the success stories, too, it feels like, because I had a couple, as you were telling your story there, I had a couple backup kickers at West Virginia who were very good, like very good, but like I was the kicker and the punter. So mm -hmm. the XFL, the UFL, the USFL, now the UFL is a great opportunity for, it's like a perfect opportunity for you, right? And is that how you viewed it as soon as you decided to try out for the UFL and sign up? Yeah, I mean, I knew to really get a chance in the NFL, I was, I was going to have to show on tape that I can hit field golden game. And, you know, luckily I came out of, of college at, in a time where, where spring football is, you know, really starting to hit its stride. And um, the UFL has given me, you know, an opportunity to, to hopefully showcase that. And, and hopefully over the next 9, 10, 11 games, uh, hopefully, you know, I can, I can continue to show that. Hell yeah. Keep going, man. It was fun to watch a dude with your leg strength, too. Doesn't come around often. Now it feels like there's more Harrison Bucker. Mm -hmm. Have you ever kicked with it? Yeah. Any of those? Have you ever got have been in any of these camps and kicked with these guys? Not not any of those like NFL guys. Um, I've always I've, I've only really been to a couple like college camps and and stuff like that. But I mean, you you watch like the Coles videos of of their kicks and it's just it's it's ridiculous. I remember. Yeah, a not, of years ago say, hey, not a lot of them are hitting sixty four back to back though, bro. You're in that conversation all of a sudden now. I, I remember a couple of years ago, it was I think it was McPherson's rookie season that you talked about how how fast his ball gets to the net, like his legs so strong, his and that's kind of how you view you know how like how strong your leg is, how fast that ball gets there. That's I've always thought about that, you know what what my ball speed to the net, so to speak, would would, would look like to you. So that's something that that stuck in my head for. I don't, I don't know how long ago he was a rookie, maybe three or so years ago, but that's, that, that's one of the first things I remember about leg strength that I hearing. Well, how far did you go? How, by the way, that's good. dope. Yeah, yeah, that's very yeah, dope yeah. from my end, too. So, like, I appreciate you saying that. That's cool to hear. But like, how far you go? How, how far have you been? Um, I mean, in practice at Arkansas, I had, like, 65, I guess, live. But How about I mean, just, hold her, just hold her? Just hold her. 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 Yeah, I had 67 on my pro day, um, but I, I mean, I, I guess it hit the it hit the ceiling. But I mean, it was gonna be good. But um, <laughs> I mean, other than that, like I haven't really. Ah, uh, dude, it's we gotta to get you. Where, like, we gotta get you to a field with a nice, you know, like seven to ten mile an hour Ooh, behind you breeze. The, the one behind you maybe at altitude because your leg strength is special brother keep going we appreciate it i appreciate it keep going man hell yeah ladies and gentlemen Bye. kicker from michigan panthers hit back to back 64 yarders one after being iced the other being in it bringing home the first win of the michigan panther season ladies hell and gentlemen jake bates yeah, jake. That didn't feel cool. That was really yeah, what a yeah. dog. That is, like, what a story. Yeah. Because I was at my, I had a backup named Chris Glenn. He was he was a good kicker. Mm -hmm. Like he could put the ball through the uprights, but just like never, you know? Mm -hmm. Like which I mean, I feel bad about now, mm -hmm. kind of looking back. Well. But like this UFL is a perfect opportunity perfect. for those types, let alone other positions, like wide receivers at like Bama, mm -hmm. guys yeah. that are maybe like five stars, they mm -hmm. stick around, but they don't get to get up on to the starters. It's like, yeah, this guy was at Alabama. He runs a 4-4-7. Four, four, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Never really got to get on the field. We give him that's a cool thing about spring. Ball. But he hadn't kicked one since high school in a, in a game, and then you not only Crazy. hit it, but you hit it back to back, you know, after being iced like that. First, first weekend of the new league, new, like that. That's that's awesome. That's an awesome moment. That's something he'll never forget. Obviously, the tweet from the Rock. 
That's the icing on the cake. That's oh, the, the final the, boss. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's dope. At Lucky yep. We acknowledge, especially on Mania Week here. Good for Jake. Keep oh, yeah. going. And obviously with the kicking thing, that one kick from him will get him workouts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Should. Should. In the NFL because every team that doesn't have a kicker is actively looking for one. Like, mm -hmm. very badly. And if you find a guy and he gets hot, he could be there for 15 years. Mm -hmm. The fans. The you fans know? would be calling for, hey, can we get Bates in? That's already yeah, happening. Yeah. I, I, New I, England needs I, to I bring Bates say. in for a little Bates, try. I think the Lions, allegedly, now they're in Michigan. So Every Lions fan wants him on the team. We need a guy. 64-yarder <laughs> would be nice. In the well, okay, I don't know what an NFL ball is versus a UFL ball. I mean, there's mm -hmm. so many different things in there. Sure. But Ooh. he murdered. He's got a strong, yeah. strong, strong leg. But I think, like, even um, – Bills fans, I saw in my mentions. Bills, I'm like, yo, Bass has done a lot for you. Yeah, guys. what the hell? I guess missed at the end, kick. yeah, he yeah. must have missed at the end. If we had this guy, yeah, he, missed that one. he missed that one at the end. Mm. So that's the thing. Like that's why, whenever, you know, you get an opportunity, and why guys at some teams are only there for like three, four weeks, and then they're gone, and then three, four weeks, and then they're gone. It's because like, can you hit every single time you're out there? Mm -hmm. That that's what mm -hmm. the game is. That is like, punting and kicking both. Can you be can you be consistently good as opposed to like sometimes great? Can you just be consistently good as opposed to, you know, good great, then bad, then great, then bad? Because the only thing gets remembered in our particular line of work is the uh is the bad one. Right. So that'll get you the kicked out of a building. And that's why it's so hard to get a job, because there's only thirty two of them. If a guy gets hot, he's gonna be there until he's not. Yep. And then if you come in and you just say the wind is 30 miles an hour. Terrible. Absolutely yeah. terrible. This is your only shot, though. You miss, well, see ya. Guy never would have made it Damn. anyways. It's tough, And dude. everybody's an expert, too, oh. with you, because everybody can say, okay, do you miss it or do you make it? And nobody yeah. knows, or oh, was it a good snap? Was it a good hole? <laughs> What's mm -hmm. the wind doing? What, like, it doesn't matter. You had hey, one job, We need to win the game. You got one job. You're getting paid X amount of money <laughs> yeah. to kick the damn ball. It's, it's, it's tough, tough gig, man. I would never let... Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, my daughter's going to have an incredibly strong leg. Mm -hmm. But if she even considers getting into the kicking run, no way. I couldn't even imagine being the dad of that person. Well, and that's what's tough, too, because I can't – it was last week, but didn't you say, like, you know, you wished that you would have, instead of just, like, when you were warming up, like, going back, hey, I'm, I'm going to – I'm going to hit 70 yarders. I'm going to try to hit 75 yarders. Like when you get in the NFL, it's obviously having a guy with a massive leg is huge, but like you need the guys who consistently are going to make the 35 to 49 yarders. Mm -hmm. Like that's where every you, time you can't miss those. You absolutely can't miss. So while it's awesome, that, but it's like that's He's got to keep going. That's what that's, I told him. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the next step, right? It's like, hey, you obviously have a massive leg. Like you got to make. You got to make all the chip shots. You have to, and he will. Mm -hmm. that, it feels like that guy's locked in. Speaking of locked in, I don't know if you guys saw biggest play of the weekend. Yeah, came from a guy wearing a visor. It's unbelievable. Okay, looks so cool. Oh yep. my god! And if you were to meet him, you say, "Wow, this guy sounds so cool, so handsome." This guy, what is this? Oh, punter for the Brahmas, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Brad Wing. Yeah! Oh! Oh! oh, oh, with destroying wow. baby. What's up, Let's team? Go. How you guys doing? Good, Good man. How you doing? Thanks for having us, Pat. Hey, you, okay, so <laughs> the one with sunglasses here is an Aussie, and the other one is the kicker who's a trailblazing, views-raising, right. monster of a man who uh, is finally getting an opportunity to be a professional kicker after telling USF and the NCAA to go to hell, I would like to run my YouTube business. UCF. So that's on me. Do we hate them or like them? Do we hate them or like them? UCF? Indifferent. I'm indifferent. <laughs> well, we love them because them forcing you out pretty much with the NCAA led to a career and now an opportunity in a brand new league to kind of kill it. Let's talk about killing it opening weekend. Brad Wing, you've been in the NFL, obviously multiple stops. We know you all the way back from your LSU days mm -hmm. where you're running a fake and uh, you're high stepping down the sideline, yeah. swagged out. Everybody loves you that knows you. Um, then you end up in the XFL. Then you're away from the game a little bit. You're back. First weekend, you're throwing 55-yard touchdowns to centers. How do we feel? How do we get here? And how do you feel about the Brahmas kind of in their, their opportunity this year? Brad? Yeah, it's nice. It's, uh, it's good that this one counted. You know, that one in college, they took it off me for uh, early celebration. So it was nice to get one that actually counted and stayed on the board. Um, not quite how we drew it up, though. I was not supposed to throw the ball to the center. Um, but he was wide open. So, you know, he got to the top of the route and uh, broke it off. And then I just found him and we got in the end zone. It was beautiful. Who were you supposed to throw it to? 
Uh, I was supposed to throw it to the tight end, but he was yeah. double covered. So I thought that's that. I, I did one fake with the Steelers, and I threw a pick, and I thought I can't do this again. So. <laughs> A little bit went through my progression, as they say, you know. Um, hey, they do say that. <laughs> they do say that. Hockey presence is crazy. Yeah, this is phenomenal work. Look at you dropping back, feels the pressure, goes back into the middle to slide away from the pressure to his right, drops a dime to center, who much quicker than anybody could have expected. Yeah, athlete. At that particular point. What a time. So, have you ever thrown it to the center in practice? Because, you know, you know, as you know, in NFL, anytime we run fakes in practice, you're throwing it to a fat guy so there can be a full celebration. Now, in the game, probably not going to do that. But had you ever thrown it to him in practice? And how many times did you guys practice that play? Oh, we practiced it probably uh, 10 to 15 times. And I've been instructed every single time to throw it to the one guy I'm supposed to and to not look at anyone else. So, <laughs> in practice, we did. Never completed it in practice. It's kind of a tough throw for me. Um, so we got in the, in the game and then, uh, it all just went haywire. Nothing went how it was supposed to go. So I got to the sideline The coach said, I was getting ready to fire you when I saw you let that ball go, but it worked out. So I guess I lived to fight another day. Yeah. yeah. Damn right. Damn right. You got the biggest play of the weekend. Yeah. Biggest play of the weekend. You and the 64 yarder. Speaking of 64 yarder, Donald, Hey, listen, I've seen the videos. I saw your kickoffs this weekend. I mean, you 80 yard kickoff, which is further than anything I have hit in the last 10 years of my life. So, monster of a leg. Why did you decide to become professional kicker in UFL when you have obviously started a business that has done so incredibly well? Not that this would slow it down, but like you could have very easily just continued to kick on the internet as opposed to come do it in the UFL. Why'd you choose to do it and how do you feel about how it's going? Um, obviously, I've always had a dream to play pro football and uh, YouTube's amazing, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't fulfilling. And just yeah. getting this opportunity from the promise of UFL to rock, uh, our GM, Mark, uh, just feels good, bro. Especially going out there, getting your first game under your belt, doing well. I'm lost words right now. How are you hitting them? How are you hitting them in practice? How's the operation? Because I assume getting back into a full-blown op with pressure and everything was new, or no, you felt good like riding a bike? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was an adjustment. Uh, we worked with it. Uh, we were working through it. Got a great guy here uh, holding these kicks for me. Our long snapper Rex, snapping them things back there, uh, getting us right. So it's been fun. It's been good. It's been an adjustment, but I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Hey, I'm proud. Yeah, we have to shout out Pat, the Rex best, the best football. You brought us up the other day, and you didn't call him out by name. He was very upset. He went to West Virginia. It's crazy. So uh, oh, no. we thought you guys would care of each other a little better than that, but we got to give Rex his love for the best snapper. <laughs> Why, I didn't know. I, I, you know what? West Virginia needs to do a little bit job publicizing this guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, they need to do a little bit. I'm going to point fingers everywhere else, Brad. That's how that's going to go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't don't you come after me here. Uh, Brad, how are you hitting it? How old are you, and how are you hitting it right now? Uh, you know, I'm I'm <laughs> – <laughs> on the other side of 30, which is all we need to know. But, yeah, ball's flying good, man. It's, uh, we got to come down there. Uh, you know how it is kicking indoors, Pat. It just takes a lot of a lot of pressure off you. It's nice. Um, yeah, ball is flying well there. And this kid, man, he's, he's done a great job. He won't speak too highly of himself, but he's come in and done a really good job being a professional, handling things well off the field. And uh, it's been fun to work with him. Yeah, are you guys living together? Yeah. Is that happening? Bullet, man. He in the building with us, too. Oh, yeah, you want the big guy yeah. to call the yeah. touchdown on here, Pat? Yes, please, please, please. Oh, yeah, big yeah. They call it the thick six. The thick Atta six. baby. Oh. Hey. Yeah. hey, you look natural catching that thing. You look very natural. And then the burst, I don't think anybody expected, you know? I don't think anybody. It's a 4'8 guy right here. Oh, yeah. To the crew. I, uh... I've been waiting on that moment my whole life, so <laughs> I was making sure I was ready for that moment. Hold on. So do you guys do – I've always seen the big guys in warm-ups potentially routes on air, just kind of throwing, dicking around a little bit. Do you do that? Are you are you known to have good hands or – Um, Self-proclaimed. Yeah, reasonable. But uh, – they, they don't they don't let me jump in on their routes on air now. I will say he's been staying – since we put this fake yeah. in, he's like, Brad. Just, I'll be open. Look at me. Look at me. I'll be there. And said, uh, sure enough, he was there. I said, if he throws it, I'm taking it to the crib. He sure did. And look, hey, here we go. Did you see the safety yeah. bail because he saw you, judged you, and said there's no way you're getting the ball? Have you watched the film back at all? Yeah, he was he was supposed to guard me, and then he went out and guarded D, and I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah, Pretty he's seen the it. YouTube, and he's also seen the history of football. He goes, uh, big, white, 55. No chance Alex Millett's getting the rock right here. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so you go – hey, way to make a play, boys. Go, Al. Yeah. Way to make Appreciate a play. it. Thank you. Hey, how's the team? We got a good team, Brad? We feel good about the team squad? 
feel good about it. We'd love to. We'd love to get you guys on the bandwagon. If you want to be Brahmas fans, we got the uh, equipment guys ready to send you guys a shipment full of stuff. A little cut off uh, for we got, you. Cut off hoodie for you, Pat, with your name all over it. We think it'll be great. All right. Uh, but yeah, we got we to get you guys on board, man. We'll be good this year. The only XFL team to get a win this weekend, so. We're trying to put on for the XFL. Not big fans of the USFL over here. Well, how come? Wait, so are these similar teams? Why is the Scooby right? Uh, is all in my shit because I said I'm an XFL guy through and through, and he basically Girl, said, XFL guy. "Huh? No, you're good. You're on the right side. You're on the right side." Well, I hope so. Boys look terrible this weekend. <laughs> yeah. XFL look bad. <laughs> just, just worry about the Brahmas, baby. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll lead you. We'll lead you right. We're we'll gonna hold it down. Jump on we'll the bandwagon. Okay, all right. So Brahmas. Yeah. Hey, look, we're in. We are in. We're on the Brahmas bandwagon. What is our chant? Do we have a chant? Bra. Bra. Brahmas. Oh, straight out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mine. That's the wrong right. thing. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Mine, all right, boys. We appreciate the hell out of you. Keep going. Donald, great to see you doing your thing. Brad. You look younger than ever, pal. Same with that leg. Spry, strong. We see it. And the arm is obviously phenomenal. Alex, never seen a faster, fatter guy in my life. Way to go. Go, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What's that? Appreciate it, y'all. Thanks for having us. Hey, we're no lucky problem. to have you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, go Brahmas. Yeah. All right, so... We're Brahmas fans? Well, Sounds I, like I, it. I kind of already have well, my allegiances, unfortunately. I'm, I'm a Memphis Showboats guy through and through. Just strictly because of the name? Or yep. It's because and you're, the colors and they're sweet. And you're I'm a, a Michigan Panthers guy, I gotta uh, be. Case Cookus? Oh, Case Cookus, yes. I've been on Cookus for quite some time, so that makes Diva, sense. who's your team? Brahmas. Okay, me too, I think. Yeah. How about hey, recruited Wade, me. I'm a Jake Bates combo. Combo. Yeah. How about Wade Phillips calling that fake when it hasn't worked one time in practice? Yeah, I haven't completed it one time. What's that old? That's awesome. Brad Wing's hilarious. Australian fella. Mm -hmm. Of the shades. Yeah. He's, I mean, he is a hysterical human being. He went to, we used to, I don't know if he still does, when he would punt, both of his fingers would do guns. So, like, as the ball is, there's photos of him with, like, ball, the ball coming off his foot with guns. <laughs> that, that was sweet. just his motion? Um, yeah, it was just, like, his natural. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it was awesome. I might be a problem. So, well, as soon as I saw the fake punt at LSU when he did yeah. this, yeah. I was at the NFL, I'm like, yeah, that dude's sweet. I just the moxie to do that mm -hmm. as a punter is awesome. He left early, went to the NFL. Damn. So, like, he had another year. He is – Brad Wing's the dog. I, uh, I'm i happy for him. Still doing it, too. I feel like I don't like that they don't kick yeah. extra points because if – because then the field – like, the guys in the UFL who are trying to make the NFL, they don't get as many – like, as many reps because after touchdowns, there's no extra points. Well, Larry David gave a full one. Well, I saw it at. Hey, Larry, you're funny. Okay. Yeah, well, come on, <laughs> We get it, Bob. Get rid of the goal punch. All right. Yep. We get it, Larry. Sure. We understand it's nothing like the rest of football. No, it's not. We all very much understand that. But, boy, a lot of jobs out there, Larry. That's right. A lot of jobs out there, Larry's that, calling for. And that's the thing about the UFL. Is that, like, if anything does translate, wouldn't it be kicking? Yeah, so that's the whole thing, I, I would assume. But who knows? Depending on the ball. If kicking is so week to week. Yeah. It's ball to ball, game yeah. to game for some guys. Yeah. Like Jake Bates there after his first kick saying, I wasn't really thinking about anything. Okay, this dude's locked in. Feels like this mm -hmm. guy is mentally in a place that's good because every kicker's trying to get to that point where you just kind of go in and black out on the field pretty yeah. much, let the body take over, all the work take over, so you're not overthinking anything. But, uh, you know, that changes, though. Like, people can go in a zone to in a funk oh, yeah. in, like, one week. Yeah. So, like, being locked in is what everybody is desiring to do. So him going back to back and not even remembering what he was thinking in yeah. between them, because you hit that first one, it's like, okay, I got enough leg. But also, did I waste it? You know, then you yeah. start getting into the full mm -hmm. on. Do the same thing, do the same no, thing. Just the same. Yeah, that's why I would never been a good field goal kicker. Just too much thinking. What's worse though, missing that mulligan or making it? Mm. Well, see, because either way, you could start. You're missing. Oh no, no chance of making uh, it. Uh, so, you know. Yeah. So like, it could go either way. It's just like, oh, that's why the mindset matters so much. That's why it's so like week to week, game to game. You can see guys be great and then just lose it. I mean, but then you can see guys that aren't good figure something out, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden yeah. they're great. Mm -hmm. So Aubrey goes from USFL, I believe to um, Dallas Cowboys yep. after being a soccer yep. player. This guy was a kickoff specialist soccer player, now goes into the UFL, going to get a workout this year yep. for an NFL team, no questions asked. With how strong his leg is, he'll probably get signed because if you have a strong-ass leg, normally they're going to sign it because it's a long season, so even when your leg gets tired, you'll still be able to hit the ball far is what they think. His kickoff abilities now, if he was an actual kickoff specialist and he has a bunch of different kickoffs, so here we go. Yeah. Now for the new kickoff, it's mm -hmm. great. But if he was a kickoff specialist because he could kick the ball 
through the end zone every time, which maybe he's able to do. NFL, that no longer right. really that big of a deal, nope. you know, because the new 30-yard start line. So it's all wild. Good to have football, though. Yeah. 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 It was sweet. very good to have football during the weekend. Uh, now, let's chit-chat about some other football stuff going on that we don't love. Rasheed Rice was involved, allegedly, his car, his vehicle. One vehicle had cleats in them, depending upon which report you yeah. listen to. There's so many different pieces of information leaking everywhere. There's a video that is now leaked of the situation coming from somebody else's dash cam. I believe the time is like 6.30 or 6.27 or something like that. Uh, early evening, late afternoon, as two cars come in to the scene there, a Lamborghini and a Corvette. Now, there's been mixed reports on which ones are uh, under Rasheed Rice's names, whether it's the Lambos his or both cars his, it's hard to get actual info. But Rasheed Rice of the Kansas City Chiefs, allegedly one of the car drivers, or at least involved in this, and then everybody left the scene. Yeah. Then obviously there was reports. Nobody died, thank God, but there was multiple accident, uh, multiple cars involved. Somebody went to the hospital, and this is the time of year. Off season is when this type of stuff happens. So this is a plea from us to all the players. Not that the players watch this show, even though we've heard that's the case. He's like, hey, this off season. Let's just tighten up. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay? Let's just tighten up. We know more in 2024 than we've ever known in the past. Everything you do is going to get caught, even if it's, like, not – you know, something that's too far. Let's just be, let's just tighten up a little bit. No longer a time where you can kind of do stuff. And this is very dangerous. Obviously, we're lucky nobody got further injured or yes. hurt. But it's like off season is when these types of things start happening, and it's never good whenever these stories start hitting. Like it's hard to it's hard to judge. Like from me, because if I was that age with that money and that type of car, it's hard not to do that. But like. Someone's got to be in there and be like, hey, you have your whole future in front of you. You yep. can't be doing stuff like That's this. That's the big thing. Yeah, because at, at that age, do you have the ability to realize that? I don't know. I don't think I would have. But someone does. Like, someone should. Someone does. Maybe. And if or she was driving one of these cars, or if, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think right. it's been guaranteed, although it is assumed or alleged that he was. He got incredibly lucky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, a, lot yeah. Of, a lot of people did. Like you said, it's, it's, it's incredibly stupid, yep. um, you know, irresponsible. And obviously, like you said, Age, youth, all the you know, immaturity plays plays a role in it. But you got to be smarter than that, man. If driving, not driving in the car, like you are, you're you're going to be the headline. You know what I mean? And that's the least of it. You saw what happened with, with rugs. You know, like somebody could have lost yeah. their mm -hmm. life, and it's it, it's so it can happen in an instant. So man, I mean, I'm sure he has. Well, I'm not sure. I hope what well, hope he has people in his ear. But when you're that age and when you have that type of money, and you have everything kind of going for your life. You have to make that choice to listen to people and to make those decisions day in day out. Yeah. So we have no idea what the law behind this whole thing is going to be, but we do know Rashid's alive. Everybody else is alive. Hopefully, this is a moment that you know not only wakes him up, but also everybody else. Like, hey, this type of shit can happen. Six twenty-seven. Yeah. Six twenty-seven. That's not even. No. You know, normally this type of shit you hear about being terrible and all that comes whenever people are very intoxicated, yeah. making yeah. terrible decisions, obviously, and bad things happening. So hopefully, this is a nice reminder for everybody. Hope they use it as such. Let's a uh, nice little reminder. Hey, Mike Vrabel, formerly the coach of the Titans, now with the Browns. Of course. Yeah. Believe it. He was spotted this weekend. Oh, We're really? At, We're at. Yeah, craps table. Ah, okay. Yeah, frames yeah, at the craps table. I couldn't even fathom him at this craps table. Oh, <laughs> could you? Could you imagine the paw flying if you're rolling hot? Oh. He would be knocking the wind, or maybe oh. even breaking a back of somebody oh, no. yeah. if he was to be winning alongside of him. It's got massive Ohio mitts. Mm -hmm. Massive Ohio mitts. Has the capability to smoke three packs of cigarettes on a Wednesday night and run 15 sprints on a Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Yeah. You're talking about a superhuman here yeah. who, in a casino will seemingly be right where he's supposed to be. A lot available to him there. He can smoke a little bit. Why? He can vape a little bit. Why? He can drink a little bit. Why? Also, he can gamble yeah. a little bit. I think this was probably an electrifying uh, table fight, I guess. And that bearded man in the top left corner there, he knows the pressure that's on him. Oh, oh yeah. You lose, boy, is Rabe's going to chew you down. Mm -hmm. Saw you up, spit you out. And the pit boss is probably going to feel bad for you on the way out of there. Got to be a winner when you're rolling at Vraves' table. Oh, I agree. Or do you do you think Vraves, in this situation, we know Vraves is a team guy, okay? But in this situation, you think Vraves is a team guy, or you think he's betting the the do not pass? You think he's he's uh, hoping? No, he, no, he's not. He's not. He's on. I see. He's it. on the pass. Yeah, line. I see it. Now. Yeah. Thank God. I can't believe you. Well, even... he's on the. There's no money on the table yet, so the number hasn't come out yet. Well, yeah, he's open. He's still, but like the puck's not out. The uh, how many can we want to drop? The uh, <laughs> But look, he, you think he's going to do not pass? No, no way. Not a chance. I just didn't know. He's a player, Tony. He's an Ohio guy. No, but he wants, I don't say he wants to lose, 
But he wants that moment where somebody loses him a lot of money. Right. So he can immediately think something. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? He wants to be a part. He wants to feel the exactly. roller coaster. Absolutely. He wants to be a part of the ride. He wants to stick his hands up and go, oh! That's what Vrabes wants to okay. do. Yeah. Especially now that he's a consultant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, life is good for Vrabes right now. Can you imagine people like, you know, handing the dice out to, you know, like instead of blowing on it, he's just giving a nice <laughs> big jaw, jaw spit into someone's, the palm of their hand. Don't don't wash that hand. That would, I, there's probably a couple people who got Vrabe spot, uh, you know, chaw spit all yes. over the, their hands. You you hold on to that for as long as you can because it'll bring you good luck in the casino eventually. I wonder where the hell this is. Vegas, it said. Yeah, which one? Do we know? That poker room seems to be very bright. Yeah, can we tell from that lady's patch on her? Uh, mm. Is that a? This lion? is at the win. Yeah. Is the win? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I've ever gambled at the win, but it does appear as if Rabe's looks good button done. Oh, yeah. yeah he what nice. are we, he's healthy. going to a nice dinner. Looks bro. healthy. He does. Look at the fresh haircut. He yeah. does look very that's what, healthy. That's what no stress will do to you. The dealer looks Rejuvenate. very afraid to give him his chips, though. If that no, is she just wants doing. to get it right. Yeah, yeah. Good job. yeah exactly. She, she doesn't just, want to screw up because she saw a mask Vrabel. in the back here. Everything all right? Mm. Okay. Is that a pit ball? Is that guy got something? A couple of them. Is that guy got something? Probably. Emphysema, maybe? Yeah, the guy behind Vrabel has one, too. That's what, why what do they know? I want to know what they know that we don't know. I would just like that information. Because should I still be doing it? I would like to know. 99.9999999999% of the population not wearing them. People still wearing them. Mm -hmm. Not judging them. Just would like to know why. Like, why? Because why, they might be holding a piece of information that we need. You know what I mean? There might be a piece of information that we have missed mm -hmm. or not heard that would help us live a healthier life. That's, I think That's piece, all I want to know. Yeah, the piece of information might be that they're dipshits because we were told... Hold on. We were told by the CDC that they are not, in fact, uh, effective, the masks. But people just wear them in general. I think that you can always just blame it on the air quality, if you will. Yeah. Oh, in well, casino. here in Indiana, we had some bad yeah. ones. I need uh -huh, In a exactly. casino, though, typically, you know, there's... Smoking. Musty. Yeah, exactly. He, I assume he... Their dealers are in there 8, 10, he's, 12 hours yeah, a day. And he's, yeah. an old, he's an old guy. He's probably immunocompromised. Bingo. Hopefully so, nobody was intermittent. Probably. And fasting in there. Yeah, and their heart would stop. Probably if it's a dealer wearing it, it's probably because they want to go to sleep at night because those casinos pump in 110% pure uh, oxygen. Ah, they don't want to be huffing oxygen. Yeah, yeah it makes go. sense. Because they do. They get you going. They make you feel good. Oh, oh real yeah. good. Then you go outside and you inhale some of that thought heat. about doing it in my house. Just make your house a casino? Like 110% pure oxygen. Just I think part of it is there. painting over all the windows, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. You need to be pitching. I love uh, direct sunlight, though, so... Did you get any this weekend? It was nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. It was a beautiful Sunday. couple you walks, a couple egg hunts, yeah. Beautiful Easter. Yep. Gosh. He, I saw the boys, a couple risen. of the boys out on the course. Oh, Foxy yeah. Group. yeah. Foxy they played 18 yeah. holes. Yeah. Had a baby boys. That's how you know they, they don't have kids. Or Indiana anything. State that record, you know. three and a half hours, 18 yeah. holes. Yeah. Only yeah. three and a half hours. Wow. That's it. Way to go. Way Thank to go. you. That's good. Thank you. That's good pace for it. Four quarters of football. It's normally five. What else they have to do? Are you playing 18 holes? No way. Yeah. What? You hit a tree this weekend, didn't you? Hard. With a golf ball oh, or yeah. a golf cart? <laughs> ball. 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 Okay. Cart, yeah. All right. Square in the middle. Oh, my God. Right oh, back yeah. at you. Oh, yeah. Smoke. I, I said it. I, I spoke it into existence. It was my fault. I had the camera set up. I said, all right, I'm going to swing it and I'm going to hold this pose. This is, hey, everybody, don't. I don't want to hear any background noise. And, uh, I hit that tree. So, bam, bam. so yeah. hard. How's the golf game? Uh, you feel pretty good about golf it? Golf game is dialed in right now. Uh, short game is really good. Just Off the, the tee. Off the tee, though, it's been a... It's hit been or miss. A, yeah, hit or miss. That's Very golf. hit or miss. That's golf. Very. Yeah. Golf yeah. is hit or miss. Yeah. Speaking of hit or miss, can he make a five-and-a-half foot, uh, foot putt? Oh, Scotty good. Scheffler not able to do it on the 18th on uh, Sunday. Five-and-a-half foot putt to send it to extra holes with uh, a man who was born in Germany. Then when he was 17, moved to America. Has been on for 150 events, maybe? Yeah. Is it J Jager? Jager? Yeah. Jager. 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 Yeah. Jager. Yeah, Alec Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah. First win. Had Scheffler breathing down his neck mm -hmm. all day Sunday. Made him earn it. Scotty ended up with like eight of the last nine holes. I think he had birdie or something like that. Mm. Went bananas. Yeah. Absolutely cooked. Uh, he shot us. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Scotty Scheffler's playing right now. A lot of people, though. We don't want to be, you know, the only ones that are kind of putting a spotlight on it. But uh, so You say it. You oh, got to yeah. say it. It's true. It it's needs true. to be said. If we're going to do sports oh, no. talk, we need to talk what sports are being talked about. Yep. Right. Scotty Scheffler needs to grow that beard back. Yesterday. Or we fear that he's never going to be able to make a five-and-a-half-foot putt <laughs> on a Sunday on 18. 
to send it to extra holes. Ever right? again. Because there's Scotty Scheffler. I know people, other people, have talked about his putting issue. Yeah, your putting stick. He's on the number one golfer in the world. Okay. I guess we can nitpick everything. You're getting no strokes on a green. You don't think I know that. <laughs> I've gone through six different putters. Mm -hmm. okay? I'm trying to figure it out. But he, as of late, had been burying oh, putts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last two tournaments. And like in his head, I think he is at the point. He Obviously, the amount of birdies he, he rattled off in a row to make that thing and press that thing and become second. It's like his putter's working right now. So there's no reason at all for Scotty Scheffler to miss that putt other than the fact yep. that the golf gods and the universe came together and said, Scotty, you had a jawline. Come on. You had a jawline. Looks so good. You look super cool. Your golf game was phenomenal. We gifted it to you. You know, we 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 gave you the Scotty Scheffler that the world needs, that the PGA Tour needs. Bingo. And he just phew, shaved it off, and now he's missing those. We don't like it. Nope. It. We know. want that ball center cut. Mm -hmm. We want extra holes. Yeah. Because I didn't even know it was on. I was watching Madness, and then yeah. I see Scotty's making a run at it, so I only get to see like yeah. four holes. Had no idea it was taking place. And then whenever it ends early, I thought we're going extra holes. We got a Scotty Sheffler story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this Jaeger guy, what a story. He's battling with Scotty. We could have maybe three, four holes here. Be sweet. Where they're dueling it back and forth. That'd be great. Instead, we got a beardless Scotty Sheffler. <laughs> yeah. And he misses the putt. Well, I mean, what a, what a loser going from one and two to being second. This guy stinks. Yeah, could have won three in a Could've row. Yeah, three in a row. Yeah, that'd be a cool story. Except Instead, only won two in a row. Mm -hmm. And now he's got the Masters. 28 straight rounds, I think, he has shot under par. But under par. he had a double bug. Triple. He had double, I mean, yeah. On Saturday. He put it, yep. On Saturday. Out the beard. And he still shot a 67 or something, <laughs> Yep. by the way. Plenty of time to the Masters, though. <laughs> this dude's phenomenal. By the way. This dude is phenomenal at golf. So good yeah, golf. he's ridiculous. He's filthy. And how much he runs during his swing. Is going to be studied, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Because you go into a golf coach. Hey, I, I would like to be able to play golf and not get pissed off every f hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what golf makes you do. What I almost just did there. Yeah. All right, well, what you're doing is you're moving too much. <laughs> you need, you know, left arm needs to remain locked in. I keep it singing. You're, you're swaying a little bit too much, mm -hmm. you see. So now, point of contact is back sometimes. It's up <laughs> sometimes. You need to stay. Scotty Scheffler is a cartoon. As he's hitting the ball. Yeah. And it's going exactly where he wants it to go. He defies everything that every little golf coach has ever said in the history of teaching people how to golf. He's the number one golfer on earth. And now, because he decided to shave a phenomenal beard. Thick. Yeah. Yeah. Such yeah. a good oh, yeah. beard. Thick. Thick. Good beard. So good. It looks like he's potentially dying at that color. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Sol. Before He is such a yeah. bingo. Yeah. Such a good beard. Mm -hmm. And he shaves it off. Yeah. So now... We can't even continue to change golf and win three tournaments in a row. Yeah. Just went in two in a row? What are we yeah. doing? Jeez. He's in a rarefied air as far as the uh, odds for the ma Masters. He's plus 430. Rory's plus 1,100. Rom 1,300. And Damn. Brooks, 2,000. What's Blocky? Blocky, I think he's... Uh, <laughs> plus What's wrong? Thousand. What's wrong, d Yeah, I think it's two bucks to win two million. What? I think those are the odds. Oh, on his it. odds aren't on there yet. Plus this is the Blocky oh. deal. Ladies and gentlemen, plus Blocky... The block party will continue. We all remember really? him last year when he was slicing and dicing a course in New uh, York. Yeah, Rochester. He became the people's golfer. Yeah. Yep. Then he went on a podcast. He said he'd be better than Rory. Right. right. If he could hit the ball as far as Rory. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is April Fool's. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, oh it's an April Fool's. Oh, okay. Oh. Thank God. Damn, Damn, thank God. I thought that might be. Oh, Damn be it. In there. That oh. sucks. What's thank Joaquin's God. Uh, thank, God. Uh, thank God that is. That's a bummer. Because I thought they were just trying to embarrass the guy. Well, can you imagine what? how mad. Uh, Blocky is a good dude. We all learned Blocky. Good a, guy. Good guy. But they build up Blocky to be the superstar. And then he just has standard conversation with Bob. Bob could have saved him a bit. Mm -hmm. But instead, he just says something. He's just talking golf shit. And then next day he wakes up, he's the most hated guy in golf. Exactly. It's like Blocky didn't he didn't sign up for this. No. Oh, it happens. Hey, this is how they build you up to break You can't have yeah. Blocky in there. The uh, one dude from Live, Talor Gooch or Taylor Gooch, however you say his name, he said it was going to be tainted. Uh, the master was going to be tainted because he wasn't in it. You imagine if they let Blocky in over over that guy? Well, first of all, um, I mean. I can't wait for the Masters. Oh, I know. So pumped. I can already hear the birds chirping. God, mm -hmm. Brooks and Rom mm -hmm. and DJ mm -hmm. with Rory. And... Is Justin Thomas still a professional golfer? Yeah, sure. He is. Very much of a roller coaster. Sure. Right is now. he? He's still a... Oh, yeah. He was supposed to be the one guy. of the guys. Yeah. yeah. Supposed to be. Great personality. We li I like him. The man. I never see his damn name, though. On Sunday, I'm like, where is he? He's on commentary. Yeah. What the hell happened?
This guy, his fits are always cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great personality. Yep. Good golfer. He's supposed to be one of the guys. Mm -hmm. More focus on Alabama's, you know, tournament run. Hey, they might do it. They could. Did you see the, uh, it might have been April Fool's, but it was before April Fool's. I. <laughs> Yeah, that it sucks tough. that that's tough. that was. Get rid of it. It I, I was it's so a pumped. tough world, it, man. It is tough. These are tough waters right now. Yeah. Let's well, not believe anything. What you can believe, though, is uh, I guess I am in the Madden Ultimate team. Here we go. Hey. All right. That's hey, a punter. I am honored. I am honored and thankful to be a part of that Madden Ultimate team. Uh, so there was. Whoa. Some, yeah, they gave me an eye and eye. Yeah, linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Linebacker, 99. I'm happy that they are at a point where they're doing accurate scoring yeah, and time, accurate man. rating for everybody. You know, uh, tackling, 99. What? You get knees, paws, <laughs> you're not going any further. No. You know they say yak. There's none of that nope. with uh, my Madden Ultimate Team character. No. This is exactly what the boys did for WWE 2K. Bingo. Hey, well, uh, so how tall are you guys? 6'3", 240. Yep. Thanks. 2% mm -hmm. body fat. Well, I'm looking at you. That's no, no, that's what Shout I Shout out, Ed. That's, that's, why, that's what the Madden Ultimate Team did for me today. And this is no April Fool's, although it is on April 1st. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of foolish. Uh, this is happening. It's for real. And thank you to Madden for extending the opportunity. I do appreciate that. Yeah. Feel general. Yeah, I, I mean... Yeah. I don't know which one of those is smarts, but it's in there. I mean, the amount of stuff you can do with a card like this, I, I see no reason why you're not returning kicks. Well, I mean, why True. not? You can put me back there. Right? 99 speed. So yeah. I don't think I understand how this works. What is this? So I'm in the Madden game? Yeah, basically Madden Ultimate Team is like you have a card for each position on your team, and it's it's similar to fantasy where you can do like a fantasy draft, except you open like packs as if it was real trading card games, and those players that you open in your packs – end up being the players that you play with your team. And then you can do, like, uh, offline challenges where it's just you playing the computer, but then you can play other Madden Ultimate Team people. So, like, if Mid had an Ultimate Team and I had an Ultimate Team. So this character will play. Oh, it will. People are probably playing with it right now, yeah. For really? Sure. Yeah, definitely. Especially there, was if it's a, just there was a guy that was live streaming. You were on the 49ers. The stream is down now. I did have eyes on it a minute ago. How was I? That little quick? Yeah, you laid a couple hits. You, if, were, you were running around. Yeah, if, you, if you're 99 strength and tackling, the amount of forced fumbles you can have. <laughs> Block shedding, too. 99. Yeah. Are you right next to Fred Warner? I mean, here's Warner? the deal. More like mm -hmm. Fred Warner next to him. Yeah. You see true, those stats? True, Come true. on. I mean, this is the thing about Mutt Me. Okay. Mutt me don't give a damn either. No. Mm. I'm old school. I'm headhunting too. You know, I, I, I'm a headhunter 99. I, I like to model my game, Mutt me that is, after A.J. Hawk. Sure. Uh, Smart. I like that. After A.J. Hawk. Yeah. Yep. Now, granted, I don't know if A.J. is any of these 99s. He certainly isn't a 99 in zone coverage. I know that. No. Oh, that's what I am? Yeah. That's what that one bottom yeah. right is? Yeah. yeah. That's, right. that's what I thought. You, you get into my area, ball's mine. Yeah. You know, Revis Island? Mutt me island, dude. Yeah. You got no shot. If I'm on that half of the field, look the other way. Mm -hmm. QB. Now, would a uh, tackle, would this be a thing? People would be making a lot of tackles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. You, you, would, you would definitely just be on your character. Okay, so here's the deal. Whoever uh, documents the most amount of tackles in one game mm -hmm. for Mutt me. <laughs> Uh, we'll give you uh, some uh, $500 gift card to the merch store. Boom. Wow. Okay. So, there you okay. go. Get Mutt me out there. <laughs> Let's get some tackles. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Mutt Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Mutt Me's a dog, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am honored to be in there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't sign the NFL PA, so I wasn't, you know, in a... anyways. We'll be back next hour with AJ Hawk. We'll talk some linebacker stuff. Be a friend, <laughs> tell a friend something nice. And we are in a conference room in a hotel that is the home of the annual league meeting. It is wonderful down here in Florida. Jim Harbaugh was showcasing to me why he doesn't like the hip drop tackle. He was actually wrapping his <laughs> massive arms around me and then saying, this is what we're trying to get out. Jim Harbaugh's yeah, rules, this is his business card that he gave me. Jim Harbaugh's rules to live by. <laughs> you guys are drafting Caleb Williams number one overall. We'll see. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Woo. You did it. When RG3 comes out, mm -hmm. you heard him. Yeah. Okay. I think accuracy, you know, is the number one trait that NFL quarterbacks need to have. Because... Oh, so Penix. Ooh. Okay. I think accuracy is the number one. Okay. Trait okay. That... Oh, I didn't oh, say oh. no. Oh. <laughs>
Oh. Hey. Easy, Kay, don't give anything up. Hey, you got a lot of leverage right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know this or not, but you guys are taking wide receiver in the first round is what I'm being told and, and everyone. Hey, congratulations hey, for doing that. Good class for it. Way to go. Just the first round? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Got 11 picks. I thought the most impressive thing about it was a lot of people had the sense that this was going to happen and not one person uttered it. It was a completely respect-driven thing for Aaron to let him do it the way he needed to and wanted to because he deserved that. Obviously, I had nothing to do with the offense, but I made sure I had a conversation with Jameis every day just, <laughs> just for myself. It was like self-motivation. Are you a bobcat oh, or, a no. or a deer girl? Oh. Boom. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Um, That's good news. That thing sounds good like one. a deer, guys. Yeah. One, two, three, three all locked, do you think? I don't know that yet. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Who could jump up there? Who could pack? Caleb Williams, I agree with it. One, okay. my guess would be Jaden Daniels at two. And three, there has been a lot of Drake May conversation. Here's the thing. These things. Shafty, they just change. Shafty. Shafty. Right. Sounds like you know more than what you're leading Dancing. on right yeah. now. Do I think they'll ultimately stay and make the pick at three? My guess would be yes. Fucking thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to cause you that much agita, I'm going to definitely see if I can find out some more stuff that would give you more heart palpitation. Whoa! Oh, 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 Shafty! Yeah. You don't need to be a prick. I just want a quarterback so I can root for football again. Yeah. I was like, that's probably the case. Con man's got a question. Right? Yeah, Shefty, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, oh God. no. What? I am so sorry. Oh, I am no. so sorry. Oh. You know what? That's okay. I don't hold it against you. Can you kick one of those shoes up here? He you know? oh, get your kids on there, too. That's pretty sweet. We went to Venice, and they had an artist draw it on it. In Italy? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Caboli. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Stop laughing, Gump. Well, well it's a tough, it's a tough chair. It's a good chair. Ready, one, two, three, jump. Got an ACL. <laughs> Schultz, I'm going to be honest. I thought we were out of here, but then I see I you know, over there. Everyone. The following program is a collection of students talking about happenings in the sports world. It is meant to be comedic informative. The opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, their boss, or ESPN. There may be some cuss words because that's how humans in the real world talk. If you are young, please seek permission before watching any further. Hey, why? Let's go! This show stinks, and the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers. You pig! Damn it! <laughs> Your friend tell a friend something nice could change their life. We want that! We want that! Sport! 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 sport, sport. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to our humble abode, the Thunderdome, on this Mania Week Monday. April 1st, 2024, hour two of the program starts now. Sports. Sports are fantastic. We're incredibly lucky to get to follow them every single day. The talks table is here at Boston Connor and at Ty Schmidt. Why the dragon? Huh? Uh, this is the you one dragging from... a little bit today? You a little tired? No, no. Mm. This is the one from Friday I was going to wear, but I was like, you know, it was, it was a little too violent. So I decided to save it because Friday is a feel good Friday. I didn't want to wear such a scary, mean shirt on a Friday. And yeah, so you're kind of why... taking a turn here, haven't you, with your shirts? No, no. This is just one that I bought because there's a new uh, dragon collection because it's the year of the dragon. Oh, yeah. On uh, said oh, website, okay. so I decided. You know what? Cisco, I get a couple. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. The thong song. Let me sing it. I'm a little yeah. platinum head. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a wild time to be alive. Was, yeah. Good video. It, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Video. Yeah, there were some good things that helped us out back in the day when we didn't have access to the internet on our phones. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. You youngs have no idea what this is like. Yeah, we do. So whenever Cisco comes out with that type of song, it is nice to see MTV promote it to another so it's easily yeah. accessible. Yeah. Nine-year NFL vet. And a man who looks incredibly cool. Ladies and gentlemen, D-Butch is here. Yeah, good, good, good to be back. Good to be back. D-Butch, great to see you. Good to be back, man. A lot of parenting you've been doing? Yeah, a lot of parenting, a lot of golfing, a lot of... Uh... Just enjoying, relaxing a little bit. Hey, you're break. a good dad, dude. Yeah, That's one of the things that I've noticed about you since, like, day one of meeting you. When you got, did you get traded to the Colts? No, I got picked up. I was a uh, free agent. Oh, yeah. so you go pa uh, Patriots, Panthers, Panthers, free agent, Colts. Yep. And then had, like, two pick sixes first day of practice. 
That guy looks pretty good. <laughs> no, have we brought that guy? We got yeah, that, that was guy. good. Yeah, who is who is that guy? Happy he's here. Immediate fit. What an incredible team. We'll talk more about that at the end of the hour. Uh, a lot obviously happening. One half of the hammer. Dad. Cowboys Tone Diggs is here. Tone, I want to let you know you're looking better than ever. Thank you. You really are. Thank you. I appreciate that. You look handsome. <laughs> have you guys seen? He's been working. Uh, He's been working on a body. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. He's been getting fit. He's been letting his hair grow a little bit more. Okay. Letting his hair grow out a little bit more. Oh, Sweet flow. Hey, he looks. It looks phenomenal. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because Guys. he's always it does. with a calic and everything he yep. had. He was like, I'm just going to wear a hat. That's the new me. I'm just going to do that. Now he's letting his hair grow a little bit. It looks very good. It, it does. Tone, you're in like good. Hey, you might be in your best form. Yeah, right. Tone, yeah. Happy for you, Tone. You guys are too kind. You know, I don't like this, but I do like it. So I'm going <laughs> to let it go. Yeah, keep it coming. You know, baby mm -hmm. girl's going to see you in your best form. That's fantastic mm -hmm. news. Uh, joining us now is a man who I don't know what his highest Madden rating was, but I know it wasn't a 99 in linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Muttley can teach him a little thing or two. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers, Super Bowl champion, ladies and gentlemen, A.J. Hawk. Yeah, Hawk A.J., I don't know if you've heard, Muttley's 99, dude. 99. Uh, so congrats on Muttley. Was that like their official uh, news release where they said that? Like, you Is that your name? Like, What do you mean? No, I'm just... Madden well, Ultimate Team, I understand, but so did you... Okay, I get it. I mean, you is there anybody else on this game? Do you? you want me to break it down? I can't because I can shed blocks, buddy. <laughs> yep. You want me to break this thing down to you? I will. You want me to drop into zone coverage, maybe educate you a little huh? bit on football? AJ, Mutt Me has got it all figured out. You That's see. what I'm talking about. I know. Whoever, I mean, I, I agree. I think you should be a 99 in every single category. Why wouldn't you? In a position change, like you can play anything. Are you going to play quarterback and linebacker? Well, I don't know. There's somebody playing with me online right now, allegedly. There's some, mm -hmm. there's some streams taking place. Is it uh, good. Uh, people. I don't know. 99 across the board feels Definitely. like that's pretty good. No, no. I said, is he good? <laughs> I don't know. Like, if you have a 99, yeah. for instance, I suck mm -hmm. at Madden. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, sure, I do. Of course. <laughs> I do. I am one of the worst of all. We're talking historically bad at Madden football. Not because I don't know what, oh, you don't have the play call. I do. These things just can't do it. I don't know why. Just can't, for whatever reason, you know, the shooter games can't do it. I get sick because my guy is all over sure. the place. Hey, you just need to move a little bit. I'm going full room for yeah. some reason. Sure. My thumbs just don't got it. But if I have, I'm playing with 99s across the board, Muttmy's making you're plays. Oh, you're yeah. unblockable. Yeah. You're going to no be a problem. You. Yeah. So it's I like might no be way. good with Mutt Me. Oh, a thousand yeah. percent. No, not might be. You're like have to. The, your character is going to be the the best middle linebacker. No, but is he gonna, if he was playing with all 99s across the board, me. he beat when I you, Oh, so, yeah. So yeah. You, may, you might not yeah, be yeah. making tackles, but any time you're running into the other team, you are rolling right over that lineman or because I can only be one person. The ten other Mutt Me's will be able to. <laughs> yeah, you just Correct. don't have to. Yeah. yeah, you just don't change your character. You're you're strictly. You're not clicking B ever. So I put myself in like uh, we call fullback plays. Put me a fullback have me run out of the way so and then let mutt me take care of the rest oh yeah, yeah. bingo exactly so that's how i'm good at the game well now yeah. well, no, offense is tough you gotta you gotta control the ball carrier so on defense is easy I, if i were you and i suck i just wouldn't actually play on your character since you're 99 ai computer he'll just make all the plays so who, i'm not even controlling i'm putting you, you probably get a free safety just yeah from, detack. From, no, yeah, detack. Detack. Oh, detack. Oh, detack. yeah yep. there you go. Jump there you go. up the middle yeah, i'm talking about Faulkner. horrendous video game player so like uh my brother got all the talent in the video games Good video game player. I am absolutely terrible. In my last couple of years in the NFL, I didn't go to the meeting and sign up for the NFLPA, so I wasn't in Madden. Now, at one point in Madden, they gave me like a 70-something rating or 60-something rating, and I was like, excuse me? And then they, they, they made my arm throwing so low. So, like, my brother and my friends who played video games would play as me, and they would just dog me the entire time. Hey, let's throw a go route with Pat. I'm <laughs> 10 yard throw. I'm Speed, like, too, right? Oh, yeah, slow. Yeah, Couldn't yeah. even run. Might as well have had concrete. Actual mud I'm running in it. So I'm not, I'm like, I hate video games. I hate that I'm in this game. They put, they made me fat as hell in 2K. 2K, they, I might have been 280 pounds. They made me round in NCAA or whatever. So I did not have a good experience being in these games. By the end of my career, the rating was a little higher, which I appreciate the Madden people. They've always been incredibly kind, but it's never been like my main mission. Mm -hmm. But like, Watching the Madden drop and then watching like my teammates or people I know going into this mutt over the years, I did certainly think to myself, like, would be cool to mm -hmm. be, you know, because the NFL, 
is so close with Madden. Mm -hmm. And the video game community is a massive piece of the NFL fandom. I mean, Madden is a massive part of, like, I think a lot of people are in football now. They get connected to players now. That's how they, like, figure out. Like, Madden is a huge piece of it. So for Madden to reach out and for us to be able to that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very thankful to be there. I think I'm a 99 and middle linebacker for four days. Yeah, I believe so. Three well, days, four days. I think Bill Wait, mentioned why? Why does it change? It shouldn't change. Well, I think they're getting an actual, you know, person out here to judge my power and my blocks. Oh, okay. sure. Okay. So that's coming April 5th. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I might be a 99. Yeah, you never know. I don't chance. know. <laughs> uh, there's a chance I'm a 99, but, you know, it could be. You're having a combine? What do you mean you having someone come out to check? Well, just a Madden. Adjudicator. Yeah. You'll exactly. see. Heard of it? <laughs> oh, Joseph. Who is the no, best Pat, player in Madden Pat, right now? Pat, Active Pat, player. Pat, 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 Pat McAfee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me? Probably Patrick Mahomes. 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 It's, the best players in Madden right now are Mahomes, Trent Williams, Kelsey, Justin Jefferson, and I think McCaffrey. Mm -hmm. The 99 club? Sure. Uh, Devontae. So if they're 99, are they 99 oh, yeah. everything? Is that what it is? No. No, no, just not overall. everything. So, oh, like, so my, me, legit right now, best player in the game. <laughs> yeah, yes. legitimately. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's run the numbers Ever. up. Mm -hmm. It's only got a few days of this. Mm -hmm. We need to run mm -hmm. these numbers up with my, me. Pretty sure that the Mannings, they just did this for Peyton and Eli Manning, and they are both 98s. Wow. I believe. I, I'm oh, almost no. positive. Yes. I saw that. a dog, morning. dude. Yep, sorry. me has been in the gym. me might have yeah. been on some science, too, that they can't detect in old mutt drug yeah. testing circles. Yeah. Yeah, which are definitely behind as so let's, far as... Yeah, let's start taking advantage of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> AJ, did you watch any of the basketball this weekend? Yeah, I watched a decent amount. Yeah, pretty how about, good. How about DJ BJ, dude? I mean, yeah. Oh, like, okay. What is it? How big is he again? I don't know. It looks like 6'7". 6'9", 275. Okay. Yeah. 6'9"? Mm -hmm. He's over he, three yeah. bills, though. Great feet, great <laughs> ball handling, man. Yeah. So fun to watch. I saw a photo of him whenever he was a freshman at Tennessee, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, he looked obviously a little bit thinner, a little bit younger. But now the hair, the look, the attitude, the smile, and the, yep. this one. Yep. Got great touch, great oh, touch yeah. around the rim, great ball in, great feet as well. I mean, he's he's a mega star, star. yeah, mm -hmm. like yeah. mega star. Not even he's like star of the program right now. Oh yeah, DJ BJ, yeah. his walkout all the way through the end of the game. Even when they were subbing him out on defensive side so he wouldn't pick up fouls, he's flexing to the cameras and then he's standing and he's coming back in. And he's getting and once immediately upon touching the ball. So even when he's getting subbed, it's electrifying. Everything this dude does is awesome, and I. You go back to the ACC tournament. Okay, you go back to the ACC tournament. There was a banked three off a missed free throw that got NC State into overtime in the semifinals of the ACC. If they don't, if this missed free throw, boom, 58-55. Obviously, that falls. Game over. Mm -hmm. Instead, drive court, timeout, bank home three, rattle home. Bank, rattle. Okay, how often does that happen from how far that guy was? Not often. They would obviously go on to win this game. Then they would win the ACC championship. Then their run would just not stop all the way to the final four thus far. And us learning that DJ BJ is the most electrifying basketball player on planet Earth right now. I love this NC State Wolfpack story. And I love the thought that NFL people are like, now hold, hold the phone a little bit. Yeah. We don't know what they're saying yeah. about DJ BJ and the NBA, but... 6'9", over 300 pounds. Good feet. Good feet. Mm -hmm. Left hand strong. Yeah, yeah. strong. Hand. Left hand strong. There is one position. And I had an offensive line coach, Rick Trickett, in college. Notorious. Uh, Great name. Offensive Great name, by the way. Name. Yeah. He just, yeah. Ricky Trick. He's about this tall. I think he was. Was he related to Clint? I think he was in the Vietnam War. I think. Okay. He, like. Believable. Hat off, we're mother everything. Yeah, yeah. It was. But we had a, a tight end named Selvish Capers, who was a kid from Louisiana, huge dude, huge dude, 6'6", 6'5", 315. He was a tight end, though, great athlete, Damn. could move, was awesome, as soon as he got to campus. So Trick in one of these team meetings goes up on a board, and he circles the left tackle position in front of the whole team, circles left tackle position, and he goes, this position is on the field every mother in play. This position on the field gets paid a lot of money. So if you're a six foot five, six foot six tight end who can move and is strong, you need to move your mother ass to.
tackle right here. And Selvish moved, ended up in the NFL. Mm. Like that was an entire yeah. coming of age tale. But I think a lot of football people think that. Like, hey, if you're oh, yeah. big and can move, there's not a lot of people like you in the world. If you have a dog mentality, which it appears DJ BJ has, that tackle position is certainly at 6'9". Now that's big. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many 6'9 tackles there are. That kind of scares me a little bit, actually, with how low guys can get right now. But DJ BJ's feet and his agility, his athleticism, he's ripe to make $25, $30 million a year at left tackle yes. in the NFL if he can figure it out. Now, we assume he can. And I don't know why people are just assuming he's not going to be in the NBA because that little left-handed baby hook won't work. Is that what they're saying? Uh, I assume they're just saying because of the up and down. There's a lot of him... Hey, you got you guys go up there. I'll be up there in a little. Oh. There's a lot of that. I think you know, that is cardio. You different figure that different out. game too. Just like Edie, a lot of people aren't seeing, aren't saying, oh, he's going to be an NBA guy just because of how different the game is. But I, he yeah. definitely play overseas and make good money for oh, a long. Yeah. With his style of game, he could play for another forty years. Playing, he doesn't, you know, doesn't do a bunch of jumping. Super skill, great touch. I love him. How do you high. feel about it, AJ? You think he? I feel like he should spend like. I mean, have some coach spend two hours with him and just see, like, a, little, a couple pass sets and mm -hmm. everything. Oh, it would just, like, can he anchor? Which I would imagine that dude's got a big lower body. Like, I can, he could anchor. He could do everything. He can bend. You and check the out. best thing is he has, he has great feet, though. That's the number one thing. You're checking out his ass. I was just saying he got big ass. I'm saying he's, he could anchor. He it, it, the, the, the tackles that can sit there and anchor on a dude bull rushing him, that, the, I think those guys set apart from everybody else. Yeah, that's what AJ said. Yeah. That's a big part of uh, scouting. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, numerous people have gone on the record, even for the kicker and punter position. Like, really hey, Real. yeah. how's the ass? Big? Got it. Okay. Love it. Got yep. some power. Mm -hmm. Got some explosivity probably a little bit. Got a good uh, center of gravity mm -hmm. in this entire yep. thing. He seems to have great base. Go well, ahead, I saw there, a lot of them are just saying like, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. He could be Jordan Mailata, who's six eight, like three seventy, who played rugby, I believe, until he came over to the Eagles, and now is one of the best tackles in the NFL. And can sing. I, I yeah, think DJ can probably oh, sing pretty. Oh, good. I would yeah. assume he's got pipes. <laughs> he plays <laughs> instruments. Then you see, he's like the most interesting man in the world. He said he played upright bass. He's played a million different instruments. He's a big reader. All that stuff. Joining us now is a man who might have more information because he is one of the voices and faces of college football, an entire sport. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, he also kicks off the NFL weekend every weekend on Amazon alongside Al mm -hmm. Michaels Love it. as the face of Thursday Night Football. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that face is much more tan right now. Yeah. All those, uh, although those eyes are still beautifully blue. Oh, mm -hmm. Ice. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the presidents of Ohio, Kirk Herbstreit. Yay! Yeah, Just got done walking, Ben. Obviously, Ben and the boys went on a run. Is that where we're at right now? Yeah. Yeah. I, are we still the presidents? Are AJ and I still the co president? new one? I, I didn't realize that. Vrabes might have won. I don't know. Did Vrabes they give Vrabes one? I don't know. You guys still have your awards? Your you guys still have your meetings and stuff? <laughs> hey, well, AJ runs that. He runs point on that, I think. And you just go to the beach and zoom in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I zoom in. I, I'll, I'll, I'll visit quarterly. He's right there in town. It makes it a lot easier for him to. What have you guys get accomplished in your that? first year as presidents yeah. of Ohio? What have you guys accomplished? I saw, we lost to Michigan again. I saw that. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, AJ, what have we accomplished? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big meeting guy, Kirk, so I think we know that what you're saying obviously is very false, but I don't I don't know. What do you think about for be to be real? What do you think about Ohio State spring game being uh, nationally televised? Oh, here we go. There's the president's I bet, yeah, that that's uh, he just that's found out. He just <laughs> yeah. found out. Yeah. Yeah. He just <laughs> found out. Yeah, congrats, Kirk. Yeah. Ohio it's, State it's Spring Game. It, Kirk. He's on it's national Fox, TV. I believe, though. But it's, yeah, it's a big deal, I guess. All right, let's go. You guys it's are... it's a big deal. It's a big deal. People want to see what's going on. Can you tell anything from a spring game, though, Kirk? Jeez. Can you can you tell anything from what, what a team is going to be, or maybe even what a quarterback might be? No. <laughs> No, it's a it's a waste of time. Other than you get him in front of, <laughs> other than you get him in front of uh, the crowd, if they're you know a young freshman, you get him in front. At Ohio State's case, what would there be eighty or ninety thousand people there? Wow! So that, that that's good that's uh, to be able to see how they respond in front of that kind of crowd. I hear that freshman is tearing it up. That quarterback. Yeah, they have uh, like four or five name. dudes. What's his, what's, his, what's his name, AJ? Salem? No, yeah, I forget. I don't know. I was. I know Aaron Nolan's there. They got four guys. Jesus. There. I mean, he's got I don't know anything don't know about shit. He's my president. Dude, I don't know anything. We're going to spring ball every day. Bro. What are you talking about, Pat? Bro, yeah, Bobby Carpenter was on here. Bang. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bobby Carpenter yeah. and Mike Vrabel, the next presidents of Ohio. Yeah. I Book hope. Because look at these guys out to lunch. Didn't even know it was on <laughs> national TV. He doesn't care. Let Go. me tell you. Let me tell you what we've done. 
as president. <laughs> Joe Burrow got hurt for the entire season. Whoa. Blue Jackets didn't. Blue Jackets didn't win a game this year. Ohio State basketball fired their coach. Damn. The win, women's team was favored to go to the Final Four. They got upset early. What? Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, the Reds. The Reds got more injuries than any team in Major League Baseball. How about the Guardians? What, what, what else we got going on? How about the Cleveland Commanders? Cavs. Yeah, they're good. Commanders. What about the Cleveland? Com- <laughs> the Commanders. What do they do? <laughs> He's talking about the guard, the Cleveland Guardians. Guardians, bro. Guardians. Yeah, yeah. yeah pieces together. <laughs> yeah. Kirk. Jeez, Louise. I still call them the Indians. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, these are the presidents. You yep. sack yeah. of shit. <laughs> these people oh. in Ohio just won't learn. Oh, you pieces of shit. 2024. Kirk. I still, I still reference them as the Cleveland Indians. No, you we got it. Yeah, no. We got it. We get it. <laughs> you They're the Guardians. That's the name. The Guardians. And I also, I also don't say the Ohio State University. I just say Ohio State. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's very noble of you. Right. Very noble. Yeah. They're going to have a yeah. different January 6th in Ohio this year. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyways, um, Kirk, let's talk about you being – because I'm in the mutt. Mutt me, Madden Ultimate Team. Okay, 99s cross the board Madden today through April 4th. I'm a middle linebacker. Mm-hmm, so right yeah. now I'm flying around fields. I'm head hunting. I'm shedding blocks. I'm dropping into zone coverage. I mean, I got it all. Strength, don't even think about it. Now, it's only going to last a few days because I believe the adjudicators are about to give me a real testing here in a few days. And although, I, here it is. You're, you're getting a call right now saying it's Guardians. Yeah, can't say that. It's Guardians is what they're going to say. I just scored a touchdown, it appears. Good for me. Fumble. Oh, look at hey, you. Go Lions. Fumble. Score. Look at you. Hell yeah. Mutmi's a dog, dude. Mutmi is hey, an absolute who, who, dog. Who, who, hey, who picked hey, the uni hey, for hey. you? I like, I like the uni. Well, I think that's the Lions. I, I don't know how it works. To be clear, I have no idea how any of this works. Yeah, whoever is playing with you on their team, their default, uh, you know, Uniform is the line. I just did the Patrick Queen walk in yeah. uh, defensive touchdown. Sure, threw the ball. Dog. Yeah. Mutt me will learn that for the next time. But 2K, hey, you're voicing it, right? We, that's still happening. When's that come out? Do we know? Has that been announced and everything? July. I think it comes out in July, yes. is my understanding. Okay. How much have you been working on that? Is that already done? Hey, in the barn? Or are we still, yeah? Yeah, a lot. We're still banging around on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, that's, uh, something that, you know, it, it's tedious work, but I enjoy it because once the finished product comes out, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, there's a, a variety of voices. In the past, there's always just the, the same two or three people call every game. Now I think there's going to be different uh, different broadcast booths for different types of games that, that you play in. So that, that'll that be kind of a different wrinkle. Uh, but, yeah, I think it comes out in July. But, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's work that we do. Usually two or three hours at a time, and I, I've got uh, I've got a bunch still to go. Hold on, it's not two K. No. I'm just learning. No, no, dude, it's NCAA. It's EA College Football, college football 25. Yeah, yeah. Oh. name change. They have yeah. a monopoly on. The who who was football. telling you that? Who 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 tried to get you? All the video game that. people in here were like, "Heads up, it's not two K anymore." <laughs> I'm like, "What? I thought two K was back." Well, no, dude, it was never it was never two K. I think that's the NBA or yeah. something. I don't even know what 2K is. Yeah, NBA it, does own it, 2K, but there was at one point a college football 2K game, but now EA Sports yeah, has like trash. a monopoly on all football <laughs> games. Trash. Uh, it, of it, course. It, yeah. it, it, EA, EA Sports, it's in the game. Well, 2K EA goes to a whole different level when it comes to these games. Have you seen the NHL game? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The UFC game? Oh, yeah. yeah. UFC? Yeah. Have you yeah. seen golf, Mutney? It, golf game stinks, so. though. That's, that's 2K. 2K. <laughs> the 2K, 2K is, golf game is better, yes. I think. Whoa. 2K Wrestling, obviously. WWE. Uh, basketball, obviously. Yeah. Two, yeah, 2K. Yeah, big. Man, big. Hey, boys, hey, we're you, dealing with both you, Dude, did you do the wrestling uh, video game? You didn't do the voice work for that? No, 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 no. No, I'm not. I, I've heard. A lot of people that I'm friends with do the voice work for these video games, and uh, I don't know if I have the stamina for video games. They, they, they can't pay you enough. There's no way you'd do that. Well, that not concur. Longer. Yeah, yeah. The amount yeah. of time. Yeah, there's guys, no chance. But that makes no the games chance. good. Yeah. That's what makes the games yeah. good is how like live and topical it feels, right? You're like they, on- they put they put schleps like me in there you know, that we knock out the voiceover work. You got no time for that. Yeah, you well, no bingo. Time. Yeah, I agree. You know, especially with Baby <laughs> McKenzie throwing <laughs> right now, because yeah. you, you know Michael Cole is the voice of uh, WWE. Throw Michael Cole in there. He'll be good at that. Well, he yeah, I'll Facetime him. He's coming out of like a closet in his house, and I'm yes, like, right what's right going on? But he just calling, check in. He goes, oh, I'm doing 2K voiceovers right now. I'm like. 
I called you like six hours ago. You're doing two K. It's a whole day. What do you need? I'm like nothing. I was just checking on you. And then I'm immediately in my head going, all right, never signing up for that. That's evolved. You're doing that like every week, right? Even as the game is released. Yeah. Yeah. Like three or four times uh, a week for, for a couple hours. I'm telling yeah. you, it's a lot. Like obviously it is a lot. Not in comparison it, to I'll actual tell jobs. More, I'll tell you what's more of a challenge. If you really like to challenge yourself with this is, um, when, when they, they tell you the situation, let's say, for first quarter Ooh. touchdown. Where, where are we? Well, first quarter touchdown. Quarterback rolls to his right. Receiver catches the ball out of the end zone. Mm. And so we need some yards after the catch. You don't know what down it is. You don't know who's playing. But there's no lines. The only lines it says is ad lib. So then they give you about five seconds to kind of close your eyes like you're doing. Yeah. And then you come up with an analytical comment yeah. about what I just gave you. Are you smoking weed during this? That feels like a big time <laughs> gotta smoke weed. No, thing. no, 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 I, 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 I've not, I've not done that. So it's <laughs> something. And then you have to say it in a voice where you're calling a game. Yeah. That's, That's exciting, a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, what if you're, yeah. are you in Illinois in December or are you down in the bayou? You know? Yeah. Like, Death like, Valley. How That's you? a fair point. That's a fair point. In this particular case that I just gave you, that's irrelevant. Hmm. So what you say? Oh, what a throw to a guy! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know what I said. And then, and then, I don't know what and I then said. Kirk will get, and then Kirk will get judged on the game. Oh, yeah. I'm sick yeah. of hearing Kirk say the same thing. I mean, I'm going to roll out to the right with whoever quarterback and throw a touchdown and say it is the worst call I've ever heard of. <laughs> from Kirk yeah. 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 You better. Uh, I expect that out of you. Okay, so nope. college game day is on that game, I do believe. Uh, else, is there a lot of chatter about like the playoff and everything? Because let's dive into this now. Because the play, twelve team playoff has already moved to a fourteen team playoff. I don't know if you know that. Okay, I have no idea if you've been informed of that piece of information or not. No, there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. I go underground until August first. So okay. anything you're telling me right now Whoa. is all news to me. I'm like AJ. We got a lot. He's I know a lot. Okay. You heard about Diddy? Diddy's in the middle of a lot of stuff right now. Underground, Kirk. Diddy's in the middle of a lot of stuff right now. He's not the only one. Okay. Okay. Diddy's got stuff going on? Well. Yeah, yeah. Puff. Yeah. You can say. Brotherly love? Yeah. 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 Uh He's in the middle. You ever go to one of his parties, Kirk? I mean, you know, you don't know what's happening. Are you kidding me? I am nowhere close to okay, that level of status. Now, no, 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 no. He, he really has no idea. Yeah, he doesn't. No, no, no. <laughs> Kurt, stop, stop, stop. Google. Compliments. This is the best. This is our fault. This is the best. We're sorry we brought this yeah. up. You should not Google it. Don't even put it in the algae. Just, you know, go back to where the blinders are on until August. But allegedly, it's already been agreed upon that a 14 game play or a 14 team playoff is coming in like 2026 already. It's been agreed to because there had to be a renumbering with the, the yeah. Big Ten and the SEC and where conference realignment's going. I think this is going to be a good thing ultimately whenever we have all these games that are massive. But change is happening seemingly at a rapid pace. Do you think it's going to slow down at some point? It has to, right? At some point it would have to slow down? Uh, I, I think what happens with Florida State and Clemson suing the ACC, once we get that to, you know, resolved, they're, they're trying to get out of that grant of rights. Uh, Who's that? that Who's that? Who's that in the back? Oh, Chase! Wow. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, Chase? Good. You, yeah. Hey, who won the I'm Super? Done. Who won the Super Bowl, Chase? Who won the Super huh? Bowl? Huh? huh? Chiefs, yeah. Who? Yeah. He, Chiefs. He's all about the Chiefs. Oh, oh there there he is. Is. Now oh, he is. Is he? Mark. Who's the MVP? Who's the MVP of the Super Bowl? Mahomes. I, I never. Hey. Oh, I never, oh, oh it back. Oh, Chase Orlovsky. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. Isn't that interesting? Chase going to be a senior. It's a, young, it's a young Dan right here. We got a young Dan. In there yeah. In the Hot taken. While I was getting kicked out of a Georgia restaurant, I had Chase Herbstreit telling me that Chiefs nothing. Ain't no got chance. It. I go, Chase. You sound like a Mark right now. They're the Chiefs. Let's not be crazy. They're not playing good. They're not playing good. I love how much Chase loves ball, though, Kirk. Mm -hmm. That kid loves ball. He does love it. That kid loves, loves ball, it. and he can spin it. He loves ball. How are we feeling? We still uh, we're in the middle of workouts, spring break. Yeah, we, yeah, we just finished the uh, a workout here. How'd you do? Not a lot of such a front. Good. Yeah, it was good. There's a lot of guys that come down here to to train. Caleb's down here, and uh, Caleb who? Travis. Uh, Williams. Caleb, Caleb Williams. Yeah. He's right there. Yeah, maybe I wasn't supposed to say that, but yeah, yeah. How's he look? Doing a good job. How's he look? Rid ridiculous. 
yeah. insane. Yeah. There's been a lot of chatter, you know, like we, after his pro day at SC, we saw him roughhousing with his teammates. Yeah. Thought that was a big deal. Legitimately thought that was a big he, deal. He, he, and that's legit. Because that's he, he's, I think the, he's kind of become an internet thing. And it's like, once you fall into that tidal wave, you can't get out of it. What did he, what did he do the other day? They, they thought he had a pink lipstick and a pink phone and mm-hmm. yeah. pink fingernails. Like, it just seems like, it just seems like, um, I just saw him. He didn't have any of that. It just, it just, it just seems like once you go into that, uh, you, you just become, you know, it's like a, it's like a thing. A narrative. Know? Once and, a narrative is started, yeah. we are going to yeah. find everything to continue that narrative is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's reality that doesn't align with any of that. So, but no, he's, he's, we know what he can do on the field, but no, he's, he's actually a really good guy. His teammates love him. I don't know if that if, if the internet mm-hmm. agrees with that or not, but the, the teammates tend to love the guy. Go ahead, AJ. Speaking of him, Kirk, what does he do? Like, what does Caleb do to set himself apart from the other, like the rest of the pack? We know there's a lot of these quarterbacks going to going to go high in this draft. What does Caleb do? That it feels like he's going to be the number one pick, obviously. But what is like? Why do you think he deserves that? Well, the, the first game I called of his was at the. Uh, the game in Dallas when he was at OU and he came in for Spencer Rattler, who was a Heisman front runner that year. Um, and by the way, I think Spencer Rattler mm-hmm. can be a steal this year in the draft. I don't know where he's going to go, but I, I keep a close eye on him. He's grown up a lot, matured a lot from his days when he was in Norman, ended up doing pretty good at South Carolina. But I, uh, I, I think what separates him is what you can see on these highlights. His physical skill set is, is, you know, everyone's going to compare him to Patrick Mahomes. Um, it's the ability to create. I think what people want to see is him be more consistent with, you know, playing within the confines of the offensive structure. You know, I think a lot of times at SC, as you can watch these highlights, a lot of times he's getting outside and he's off platform and he's creating. I think what people will see once he gets to Chicago is the growth and the players around him and just being able to hit those layups, you know, the, the easy plays. Not every play has to be a home run. You know, it's just a single, single, single then the doubles and triples and home runs come. And I think he's anxious to show people. And I think that's why his pro day was, you know, I, you know, I listened to a lot of people break down his pro day, which I don't, again, I don't know what that's worth, but um, <laughs> he chose not to be one of these guys that had like a Zach Wilson mm-hmm. workout, you know, where they did a lot of different things. It was more, I think if I remember right, he just threw from the pocket, you know, it was just kind of a generic workout. It wasn't all the, you know, uh, breaking out of, out of the pocket and, and creating. I think his point was he wanted to prove to people and just kind of show people that that's, that's a big part of his game that he has a lot of confidence in. So I think that what separates him, AJ, is he's played a lot of football. He's probably has more physical ability than anybody that's come out of the draft in a long time. And I think that's what gets everybody really excited about what he can do. Yeah, we're all zeked up mm-hmm. to see what he can pull off. Now, can his game translate? You, you call Thursday night, obviously called – his games as well, Saturday nights. His game can translate to the NFL, you think? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's any doubt. I, I think a lot of times we get caught up in the college quarterback and his skill set transitioning up to the NFL. And I think it just watching and calling a lot of these games, and a lot of a lot of shitty like offensive structure games, Yeah. it's, it's to me as much about the scheme and the players around the quarterback – as it is the quarterback trying to prove that he can play in the NFL. And don't get me wrong, it's not all on the offensive coordinator and, and the scheme, but just I, I've told you guys this in the past. Think about being a 34 or 38 year old offensive coordinator in the game today. You, you grew up with the digit system or the West Coast offense, and now you're having to learn how to handle a guy like Caleb Williams, how to handle, you know, Andy Reid, he went back to school himself to be able to put in a totally different system around Patrick Mahomes' skill set. And now we have this this Kansas City offense that we all love to watch every week. But that's not who Andy Reid was 10 years ago. You know, give him a lot of credit for evolving as a play caller himself. And I think that's that's on the, the structure of the offensive scheme. If you, if you go out and get Caleb Williams, you've got to adjust your scheme – to his skill set and what he does really well if you want to tap into his his potential. Don't always make that college guy, this is the National Football League. You have to learn our way. That doesn't work, I think, in the modern game. I think it's more about the guys that win, they're, they're adjusting their, their offense to these college schemes. And those are the guys that 
put points up on the board on Sunday. Hey, can you uh, can you look at your screen right now and just hit the mute button? That's basically what you were doing with your hand covering that speaker. <laughs> yeah. For most of your answer, mm -hmm. most of your answer, yeah, most of your answer, yeah, most. Of, he was, Dude, I get I get hey. caught up in a thought and I forget about <laughs> this over here. Everything you said was I right, gotta, though. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay here for you. No, hey, we appreciate that you're taking time. We're just talking shit. But speaking of that, like if Caleb has success at Chicago, Eberflus, defensive court, mm -hmm. defensive coach, they're gonna have to find, you know, yeah. next one up. That'll be that'll be. Hey, dude, that's dude, a, go ahead. Right now, I'm telling you this, I had the Bears twice. When they made that trade and they got a lot better on the defensive side. Sweat. When Sweat came over and the secondary got healthy, I'm telling you, everybody expected Iberflus to get let go middle of the year. The guy had an energy about him. His team responds to him. You better get on the Bears right now. You better get on oh, the Bears. The Bears wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, by low. And I'm not a Bears guy. I don't, give a, I don't know anything about – I don't care about the Bears. I'm just saying – they are the Detroit Lions from a couple of years. Like, they're uh, uh, coming. Uh, the, the Bears are coming. Like Get early. ready. The only issue is the Lions are in their division, and so are the Packers. That's yep. right. And so are the Vikings. That's right. NFC North. Great I, division. Yeah, it's yep. all of a sudden become that. Uh, speaking of, you know, conferences, divisions, and quarterbacks, right now, currently, there is a quarterback that is undefeated against Ohio State, mm -hmm. and he's from the University of Michigan. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Actual national champion. d has got a question for you, Kirk Herbstreet. Yeah, no winner. Uh, we, we were boosts on the ground, I think, for his last two games. Uh, J.J. McCarthy, when he goes to that next level, you kind of talked about it earlier, system or building your team around a quarterback and changing that system. He had a great system in Michigan, obviously Sean Moore and what he did, the run game. In some games, he didn't have to put a lot on his shoulders. But what do you see the ceiling being for J.J. McCarthy, who now we're hearing post-combine could be in that top three, four pick range? Yeah, I, I think a big thing with him, just watching him these last three years, is, you know, you know, and you know this better than anybody defending these quarterbacks. We can sit here and break down film all we want, but, but you know there's a guy that has an infectious personality. He's a winner. He kind of has, as they say, like that it factor. Uh, this kid has that. Like, say whatever you want about his, his game – like, I want him to be my quarterback because of how he makes everybody around him believe. Now, he, he, the system that they put in with him, I, I can't wait to see where he goes because you better have, kind of like what Michigan had, that balanced attack, offensive line, which is a rare commodity in the NFL, but an offensive line that can win a line of scrimmage, you can run the football. If you have that and you pick J.J. McCarthy, the sky's the limit. This guy is outstanding where it's not all on him and we're going to run like what Kyler Murray does with the Cardinals. You know, like like if you can build an offense where you can have, like I said, a balanced attack where he can go play action, he can throw on early downs, and you better respect the line of scrimmage. And I don't know who that would be in those first 10 or 15 picks. I don't know who would fit that as far as who has a need. But that kid... There are a lot of these guys, if they go to the right spot, I mean, Penix, you saw what he did at his, his workout. Four five. Oh, Nick. He ran a 4-5, yeah. Herbie. I don't know four, if you heard five. that. I know, and he can he can sling it. You got Bo Nix. A lot of these guys are just kind of afterthoughts because of Drake May and Jaden Daniels, who I think could be the best one of the bunch. Okay. I mean, this is a hell of a year. This is going to be a fun crop of quarterbacks to look back at three, four, five years down the road and to see, like, who hit, who didn't, because – the odds are stacked against them. If you just go back yeah. to the last 15 oh, yeah. or 20 years, these guys typically, if you have five guys, if two of them hit, it was a good a good year. So the odds aren't in their favor. But, man, when you just look at these guys and watch them, what they did in college, a lot of them have a ton of reps. A lot of them played a lot of football. A lot of them went through some pain. Like what Caleb Williams did by, by leaving Oklahoma and going to USC, not winning every game. J.J. McCarthy battling, tr trying to bring Michigan up and over Ohio State, winning big bowl games. I mean, they've been challenged. They've had a ton of reps. I'm a big how many reps have you played in college guy and all these dudes uh, that are coming out. Think about Bo Nix, what he did at Auburn, trying to fulfill a lifelong dream of his to play for Auburn. Didn't work out. Lost a ton of games. He had to go all the way out to Oregon. And then it's he took off in those two years. So – I just think that all these guys have a great story and have hit a lot of adversity and played a lot of football. And I think that that helps him when it comes to trying to project 
if they'll make it in the NFL. I think so, too. You know, scars, calluses, that develops yeah. maturity and everything like that. A lot of football, though. You've been saying that for, like, the last couple of years during these draft nights. Seems like the people who have seen a lot or gone through a lot, it's helping them. You know, you look back at, like, we don't want to point out the office, but Trey Lance didn't play a lot of football. Nope. Yep. Didn't, did not play a lot of football. So whenever he gets there, it's like, oh, he can still develop so much or whatever. But can he? And is he going to get the time to do it in real reps in actual football? And he never did. Now he's at Dallas still. People forget that. Mm -hmm. But then some guys who play a lot of ball. C.J. Stroud played mm -hmm. a lot of ball. <clears throat> and yep. also Stroud had some pain. C.J. Stroud, yep, yep. Yeah, play a lot of ball. Now, one of those guys played a lot of ball you're talking about. Tone's got a question for you. Yeah, Herbie, it was months ago uh, that you were on this show and said, and we're just talking about Jaden Daniels and potentially you you were talking about him. You said, watch. Army, it. Navy. Yeah, it, was that what it was? Yes, yeah. Army, Navy. And you said he's going to rise, and he has, and now some people are coming out and saying he's there, they're, they are there, he is their number one coming out. Do you still feel that way now that uh, Caleb Williams is, is Chase's uh, mentor down there? Uh, do you, are you still that high on, on Jaden Daniels, and, and why is that? Man, Jaden Daniels, as, as, the, as the NFL game evolves and changes and becomes, again, doing a lot of college, a lot of NFL, it used to be the NFL filtered down into the college game, and now you can make a very strong argument that, that these NFL offensive minds are frustrated with trying to get – the college quarterback to learn, like we talked earlier about the NFL system, the seven-step drop, play from the pocket. I'm not saying that still doesn't exist. I'm just saying I think the smart guys are learning, hey, we've got to start running some of this, This whether it's RPO or you're running some kind of version of what you see on Saturday. And now you're seeing these guys that do that, you're seeing them have a lot of success. So I think with the way the game's evolving – the ability to be that dual threat is is essential if you want to go to that next level. And Jaden Daniels, man, he is so electrifying. And another guy started his freshman year at Arizona State. I called a game his freshman year, and he played Oregon. They were an underdog at home. He ends up beating Justin Herbert, which was a great game for him. Uh, he had Iuke on that team. I mean, he's, he's been around. He's played a lot. Hold on, hold on. I, that's you know what that is. You know what that is? Jaden Daniels? What? That's Cleveland Guardians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> get the name right. Going. Yeah. Go back to an island if you yeah. don't want to get the name right. <laughs> yeah. Chief hey. Wahoo isn't here anymore. <laughs> okay. It's a new day. Yes, it is. I think it sucks. I think it, I, I think it sucks. I think it should, it should still be. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right we got it. You like Jaden uh, Daniels, though. You have liked Jaden Daniels literally no, since I do. the beginning. I do. I do. I, again, I think what you're going to see, again, where does he go? Who does he have around him? Because I like Bryce Young, and you guys all thought he sucked after last year. Everybody forget about him. Who watch what Dave, watch what Dave Canales no, does with, did with Bryce Young. What, what, no, he, he did, but what, I think he's got an ability still to be able to be a good NFL quarterback. But you got to have – who was his best receiver last year? Adam in, in, Thielen. Uh, Thielen. Thielen, who always open. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, how old is he? And I love him. How old is he? And, I, and that's why we love him. <laughs> yeah, we love him. <laughs> yeah, we heard. No, I'm saying he's a great player, but I mean, yeah. if that's your go-to guy, I mean, you, you need to bring in some more people. Um, and and I think you can tell Tepper that? that. Fair point. You can tell Tepper that. Go ahead, tell him. I heard he we watches the did. program. Tepper, bring in more people. Help your guy out. They I did. think they've done that with the hire as the head coach. They got good backs, and I Online. think they've made some moves at receiver. I think they'll continue to stack. The receivers to just try to go to another level. That, Way to go, Tap. Let's go. Way to go, Tap. Go, Dave. Go, I, tap. I, I think you'll see. A, I think you'll see a noticeable difference. But no, I, I I'm still very, very high on Jaden Daniels. I can't wait to see where he goes. Okay. Um, mid conversation here, just a little bit of an update on one of your Ohio brethren. Uh, Vrabel is at the pool at the win okay. currently. Here we go. Nice. Hey, okay. Looks super cool. Good glasses. Good cap. Uh, those shorts look like he's going in the pool. He's not just sitting at the pool. No, no right. way. We're not here just for sun. We're getting in the water. Button, you know? up, button up to the pool. It looks like he had a great night of craps, too. Look at that face. Can we zoom in on the Vrabe's face a little bit, too? They got socks. They got socks there with sneaks on at the pool? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a shooby move, brother. I agree with you. Yeah. That's not good. Well, listen, that's we know you've good. been at a lot of pools. It's not proper not etiquette. Many, but when I do go to a pool, I'm... I'm typically in flip flops. I, I don't. I don't Can you zoom in on box. this? Can you still zoom in on this or no? No, it's it's a bad quality photo. It keeps messing up when you zoom in. Oh, okay. That guy looks super cool next to him. Though. Yeah, he does. I think I know that guy. Do you? I mean, he looks like at least eight people that I know. Yeah, it looks like a Boston special. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, lo he looks just like my cousin. What's that? 
Braves will rough you up. Yeah. yeah, that guy got a shot to the back there that he was not expecting. Also, yeah. out of Ohio, uh, we got a tweet from uh, Stephen Wilcox. It says, Ohio State won a national championship in women's hockey, and neither of you guys have a clue. Oh, wow. 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 Scumbag. Yeah. With that. That's under our watch. Come on, presidents. Way to go. Everything hey. Everything else lost, but, you know, we'll take that women's hockey national championship. I mean, Ohio State's hanging banners. I mean, still bunch, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, gr- yeah, it is a gritty crew over there. Yeah. They're, they're blue on the blue on faster than anybody else. Oh, yeah. Dog. That's, we, we did some research on that. Go ahead, AJ. Kirk, is it uh, normal protocol for young Chase to have to sit in the back seat, or is no one allowed to sit shotgun when you're driving, or is that just something that happened today? Yeah. Allie, Allie hides from the public. Oh, okay. oh, Sorry, Allie, oh, We didn't know. Oh, Sorry. Hello, <laughs> Mama Herb Street. Hello. Great to yeah, see you, Allie. Allie's sneaking around right here. <laughs> She's wondering if you're going to join us uh, in about eight day, ten days. Another yeah, vacation? Ali, some of us have to work, you know. Some of us have stuff. You said you could come on the weekend. You're fine. It's like seven hour flight. I mean, that is that was certainly a very <laughs> nice thing of you guys. That was very nice of you to extend the invitation, but also Where are you guys going? Kind of a reminder. Two hours. Two hours. No way. Two hours is Orlando. What are you talking Where about? Where you guys going? Go? Non-extradition islands? Going to oh, Little St. Yeah. Jeff's. Where are you Antigua? going? Whoa! Huh? Whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. That's your island, Hawk. It's beautiful down there. <laughs> What is, is you, it? What did you know? Is Easy, it? you Hobbit. weirdo. Is it? What is I, not little St. Jeff's. I'm saying the areas around there that aren't don't have the pedophilia situation. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. This guy. This guy. Allegedly. 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 No, I think at this stage. I mean, I guess alleged. I mean, I'm just it's, it's, hey, just you guys are lucky that you're going island hopping instead of keeping track of what's going on in the world. It is an insane time Madness. right now. Absolutely insane time right now. Co- yeah. me. Well, not for the hurt. Hey, keep doing it. Yeah. You guys deserve it. Allie's one of the coolest people I've ever met, too. She's got to deal with, uh, yeah. you know, this guy mm-hmm. for six months. Where's he at? Yeah. Well, four different cities. When? Three days. Okay, when's he coming back? Late night. Oh, he's going to be tired. Yep. Mm-hmm. Then he's right back in and having to have meetings with everybody. You guys kick ass. you got a cool family. Now, Chase needs to keep the hot takes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He learned that. He learned that. He let that one fly. He was so calm. You should see him at dinner he's a dipping fan food. Of, mm-hmm. Huge fan of Danny and, and RG3 because, you know, he watches those guys on, on Sports Center. So yep. maybe they're rubbing off on it. Chase, do not let Hot Take City rub off. We need you to be a ball spinner. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what we need. We don't need any more hot takes out of you, yeah. Chase. You had your little, yep. you had your little Chase Orlovsky era. We're past that now, right? We're past that. Yeah, we've moved on. yeah he's done. We're done. He's like, done with that. Chase yeah. a little bit of a hater, though. Yeah, right. a little bit. yeah sounds hey, like Chase it. will talk shit. Yeah. Chase, he's busy watching March Madness and the Cincinnati Red Legs. Okay. Okay. Shout who do you out. hate? Yeah. Hey, By who? Way, who you, name, name all your baseball teams in that room. I know AJ doesn't follow it. The rest of you guys. 4-0, Bacos. Well, you know I'm, I'm all day 4-0, Bacos. You know yeah, we swept the Marlins. Yeah. Miami Marlins. Oh, we oh, swept them. Losers. You stink. The yeah. Pirates. <laughs> Pirates got the hundo Pirates. boys, Herbie. We got the hundo boys Pirates now. Are, Pirates are terrible. What? Wow. Oh, oh, sorry. Four and oh. oh, you see that? Oh, wow. Oh, Boom. Detroit. Ah. Oh, oh, Detroit yeah. in there. That's how Detroit's you know all the way back. That's got to be AI. Nope. That's got to be AI. Best pitching staff in the league. What? The Yankees legitimately wow. might not lose a game this year. I'm not just saying Same that. with the Pirates. Yeah, I'd be shocked. I'm j- Wait, Ty, Ty, who's your team? The Yankees. My God, Ty. You, you got the Packers Kirk. and you got Iowa. I'll give you Iowa. You, you pick all the teams. You, 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 you just I was born you into pick this, all the winners. What you, what you t- what, all the winners. The Yankees haven't won a World Series since I was like 18 years old. What's your, what's your, pay, what's your payroll? The Yankees? Well, they went out and spent yeah. this year. They went out and they're trying to win. Sorry that the, sorry cares. that the Reds play in, <laughs> I mean, you know, a small market. <laughs> they don't spend any money. They got a shitty owner. Yeah, you know, the Twitch team. What did the owner say to you? The owner said, What are you gonna do? Not be a fan? Shut up. Good yeah. luck. And then what the owner said to you? That was two years ago. We're past that. Now we got <laughs> Ellie. Everybody's happy. Ellie. Reds are winning. Ellie Taylor Cruz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Cruz. yeah. Oh, we got a cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, got a cruise we, we have the better cruise. Yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. And we got. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Sorry. What we got? We Kirk got the Hondo really boys bad. at the Pirates too, pal. We we've got the face of baseball with Ellie De La Cruz. Pete speaking Rose, English oh. now too. Yeah, yep. he is speaking. English. I did see that? Uh-huh, yeah, I learned it pretty play. quick. That was a smart play. Yeah. I'm going to now understand what everybody's saying to me. I'm not going to rely on some other human that isn't me to translate every. Yeah. Do you hear about Shohei? It's crazy. Hey, he's doing stuff. Shohei's doing stuff. 
or his interpreters. He hasn't even stuff. heard about that. You don't even know. The interpreter gambled away four and a half million dollars with an illegal who bookie. You, who do you think? What, what do you guys in the internet think of that? Do you think that's legit? You know or how you we think, think was, Kirk. No, you know. we don't we us. Connor. We as in the internet. Yep. Connor's you know on that. the internet yeah. side. I believe Connor. that there's a chance yeah. Ipe did mm -hmm. potentially mislead or take advantage of Shohei. I personally believe. I'm, I'm with sure. you. I'm with you on that. Yeah, sure. That sounds yeah. good. Nice. Okay, Darius seems to be no, on the side. I, 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 I what do you think, Darius? I mean, I don't know. We'll let the evidence play out. Okay. I think there is a line that they both walked. <laughs> for sure. What does that mean? Anyways. What? Okay. What? what? Did you see what Pete, Pete Rose clearly thinks? He, yeah. he said he was, wishes he had an interpreter oh, during he his did. Days. If I was Pete Rose, I'd be trying to do the same thing he's doing right now. Mm -hmm. Let him in the hole. Yeah. Well, also, just let him teach everybody how to hit. Oh, yeah. If I was slow on something, I'd just You got the back. Pete Rose stance? Yeah, right here. This is literally... I no, you got to go down. No, you got to go <laughs> way, way, way down. You got to get down if you're doing the yeah, Pete Rose. Hunter's got to bend over. Yeah. Don't you worry about Pete Rose. Just worry about what I got going on over here. Oh, here we go. By the way, dude, you you doing intermittent fasting? No, nah, kill down. you. Kills don't you. kill you. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, nice. Go on! Go on! Oh, way out! Go. That way out! Da 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 da! Oh, here we go! Hey! Da 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 da! Hey! Da 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 da! Oh, whoa. Good work, good work, good work. Good work, good work. Hey. Yeah. One up, yep. one up. Touch them all, Kirk. Need another one here. All right, Kirk, we appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> when did you guys add this one? I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the face of college football and Amazon Thursday Night Football, our friend, president of Ohio, Allie and Chase and Kirk Herbstreit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Herbies. A little winded. That was exciting. Nice. Good, yeah, this good, good, good ball. Base. Off the top of the wall. Yeah, that was a shot. Mm -hmm. That was good a shot. That was the actual Perfect. home run. That yeah. Yeah. Up cleared the monster, right? yeah. yeah. That's actual. That's where, you're, that's where you're going. That's actual home run there. I'm pretty pumped up. Do we have wood. a camera out? Oh. Oh, that'd be sweet. So that little area what? right there. Okay. This camera oh, broke yeah. mid uh, running, so I thought you might have hit the camera. No, no, no. 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 It went We're over back the brick up. wall. It was in between. Wait, you the went brick. over the brick wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So right, oh, so right, right up the top of center. It. Nice hit. In Thank you. Wood. Like, I felt pretty good about it. You know, after having yeah. two strikes in my last at bat, mm -hmm. I knew I couldn't get back into the hole. That's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to protect. Before we get out of here, um, you know, it's been an interesting vibe all show um, mm -hmm. because I think you could take AJ off here, so he's not uh, in the, you know been an interesting vibe all show because uh, we learned this morning that a former teammate of ours, Vontae Davis, was found unresponsive in his house this morning. And Darius and he were a part of a secondary together and obviously down in South Florida know very well. Yeah. D. Butch broke the news this morning. Um, Vontae was an incredibly cool dude. Good guy. Nice guy. Upbeat guy. Energetic guy. Now, <clears throat> you know, the Miami Dolphins hard knocks when he got traded. I'm going to call him a grandma mm -hmm. moment is what everybody remember him for. What I think we'll remember him for is being an incredibly cool teammate yeah. in that locker room and being a guy that all of us enjoyed being around on a daily basis. Yeah, it'll be um, tough to really speak on it. But, uh, you know, it's tough. And obviously we, we dealt with it a lot with a lot of teammates. Um, but just love when you people, man. You never know what people are going through, what they're dealing with. Uh, obviously, sending my heart and condolences to his family, his loved ones, his friends, um, all his former teammates who have been reaching out while we've been on the show. Um, obviously, you know, showing up to you know work and, and doing what we have to do. But um, you know, it's a, it's a tough time right now, and uh, I'll definitely be reaching back out to everybody and, and just having those conversations because you know we talk about the locker room a lot, tight knit group, and then when you go from the locker room, you have those meeting rooms, and it's even uh, <clears throat> you know it's even tighter. But uh, once again, just sending his condolences to his family. Uh, Vernon, just everyone involved, um, everyone touched, and um, just just praying for everyone. It's, it's 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 tough. And we didn't want to be the ones. We didn't think it was right for us mm -hmm. to be the people that, you know, kind of informed the world of one of our former teammates and friends had passed away. Just felt weird. So we've just been trying to distract ourselves. I think. Yeah. Literally all show. It was a tough morning. Very very tough morning. And from that locker room, we've now lost like four guys. 
And I think every single time it happens, you just like think about obviously all the good times and hilarious times. Hey, no. You know, yeah. like the thought of Vontae sitting in the hot tub or the cold tub talking his shit, doing his thing. And everybody obviously recalls how he retired, which was at halftime of a game, which is, I mean, hilarious. Mm -hmm. But like such a Vontae move, like literally if you knew him, you loved him yep. and you enjoyed the hell out of him. And uh, today's been tough. It's going to be tough. But it's a nice perspective putter to remind everybody, like, hey, reach out to your people. You know, it doesn't have to be every single day. Obviously, everybody has their own lives. But, like, I haven't talked to him in months. And obviously, I'm never going to get to do it again. So reach out to your people. Tell them you appreciate them. Tell them you like them. Tell them they're not alone. And it's a tough morning. But we will move on. Rest in peace, Vontae. you done good, pal. you done good. We'll be back tomorrow. Cheers. All right, let's get to a break. Third hour will be on the other side. That was, it was tough. We did, mm -hmm. it was, I mean, you learned as soon as you landed this morning, right, Indian? Literally, and you know, I, I got he headphones on. Um, you know, you, you know, your phone reads like messages to you. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, one of former teammates of mine, one of his brother's former teammates as well, you know, got that call and, you know, read that message and then some other people reach out, send some stuff. And at this point, it wasn't, you know, only a couple people that knew it this time. Once, like you said, South Florida, um, you know, I know uh, we know a lot of similar people, a lot of people. Uh, so it, it was and then it's, 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 you know, April 1st. So it's like mm -hmm. nobody would play a sick joke like mm -hmm. this. But um, you obviously want to wait and then you want to respect the family as well, because a lot of people didn't know. So. Uh, it, it, it's, it's it's tough, man. It, it's fucked up. And, and 35 years old, you know, birthday around the corner, you know, lived his dream, obviously, to play football. You spoke about how he retired, uh, retired, wrote a check back to the organization, like, hey, I'm, I'm going on with my life. Um, and to your point, like, he he, he kind of lived his life to be beat of his own drum. Um, and it's tough, man, when you transition out, just so much, you just got to deal with life, really, you know, because we go for so long with just living the dream, like literally everything is whatever you want, whatever you want to do is right there. And then when you go into real life, you got to uh, move on. And he did great in a lot of aspects. And once again, everyone has their, you know, their flaws and their things, but uh, it, it, it's tough. And like the people calling me, I, I you know, you don't, you never want to be the, I never want to be the person to break that type of news. Mm -hmm. uh, to There's someone, no easy but, way to. Yeah, but like, you know. Freaking, you know, Kenny, Kenny calling me Malik, like just guys, coaches. Play. So it's just like you, you don't want it to be real. You don't want it to be real. But uh, it's part of life. Death is a part of life. Um, and like you said, we'll move on. We'll obviously remember him. Um, I'll always remember him. His family, my family, you know, knows him and loves him as well. So um, you know, rest in peace, Devonta. Rest in peace, Tay, man. That locker room, Zerlon Tipton passed away, running back from – Michigan had a chance to go up to his funeral and meet his family and his friends, obviously incredibly. Edwin Jackson, pound cake, obviously got hit by a drunk driver while he was in an Uber, passed yeah. away. Sergio Brown, everything that has happened, obviously not he's not the same human we knew, yeah. mm -hmm. but obviously terrible. And now Vontae, it's like, you never know. You never know. So like I always say, like, be a friend, tell a friend something nice. It's like, it's real. you might as well, you know, because you literally never know. I had no clue this was coming. Nobody did. Um, but we will. Remember, old Tay, one of the greatest voices in the history. His mm -hmm. spirit, too, dude. Always. And watching him. I'm trying always to get so. loose. <laughs> hey, no. Man. Rest in peace, Tay. You done good, pal. All right, let's get to a break. Hour three will be on the other side. We'll talk to L. Duncan about the women's Elite Eight tipping off tonight. And uh, yeah, that sucks. This is life. It's the worst part of it. You're allowed to feel emotions. Mm -hmm. And then we just move on, learn from it, and then have a different perspective, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. It might change their life. Take five. Five. five.
Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you so much for taking the time where you're contractually obligated to, so I appreciate you guys being here. I want to be here. I just want you to know. Come on! I have watched you do your thing, man. Nothing but, uh, nothing but respect and praise for you. Will you touch this? Me too, man. <laughs> Boys, you're calling a national championship again, Ty Schmidt. Unbelievable. Should we be here? No! <laughs> Probably not. No but... way! I kicked the ball to myself on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right now, I kicked the ball to myself. That's right. Should have told CJ that. Maybe the most athletic thing I've ever done in my entire being. <laughs> well, CJ, yeah, happy to see you. Completely everybody, ruined Everybody's the, happy to see you. Got ruined a lot of right, I picked him really to win. I'm all right. I'm all right. CJ, congratulations on winning the AFC South That's as a yeah. rookie quarterback. Uh, first, it's a big deal. First time ever with a rookie. You okay? That's a big deal, CJ. Dude, you're absurd, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Bro. For how young you are? Playing in, in Indianapolis, that was probably the loudest stadium I played yet in, in, in NFL. Wow. That was like a college atmosphere. How about that? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Pete, you got two knees, two ankles? <laughs> two knees, two ankles, and uh, some big boy pants that slide up around. Move it on, move it on, like another day. That guy's penis go. That guy had a lot of courage. Good question. It's ice cold in there. It's ice cold. It's the first documented button dick. Game day sale. That's what's being said. I didn't, I didn't come up with that. That's what's being said. It was our show. Three hours, 15 minutes. Then it was a two-hour gap. Then it was game day. Straight in national championship field pass. For two schools that are going to be talking about this day for the rest of their lives. Both of these teams being chastised yeah. from all different angles. Washington, <laughs> there's no way this team from the Pac-12 in their last year with Kalen DeBoer as the head coach can continue to win. They're going to stumble somewhere. They didn't. Then you think about Michigan. Two separate <laughs> suspensions for their head coach. And all they've done is stay the course. And tonight... Banners, rings, reunion conversations forever on the line. What an honor it is to be here. Look at this belt buckle. Like oh, it was yes. belt buckle. <laughs> I put some light ranch in it. Is that that too? <laughs> he comes out of his cuts. He sees people. He shakes them. And he doesn't look anywhere near as small as you would think. He's powerful. I love Blake. A lot of NFL GMs are saying, wait a second. Is Michael Penix maybe one of the top three guys to go to the NFL? Because what he does with the football is stupendous. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the national championship game for the 2023 college football season. That'll see the Washington Huskies representing the Pac-12 in its final year, taking on that team led by that man, the Michigan Wolverines and Jim Harbaugh. We're bouncing. Tony drops his bike. Tony drops his bike. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Nick. 
Welcome back to the national championship where elite athletes perform and <clears throat> Tone Diggs does something to embarrass his entire family. I'm ready if Pennings goes down. Sling. Boom! Snap, handoff by Cora. Has blockers. And it breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Michigan. Pennings is left. He hasn't looked there yet. Oh. Pick in the Michigan Wolverines are going to be national champions for the first time in a long time. Oh, yes, security. we got a streaker. Security spearing the guys, losing his pants. Cops oh. on top of him. Wow. Cross body. Wow. Cops got his knee on his sternum. Say, listen, Michigan uh, man. Oh. Bag him and tag him, I boys. I think Pink Shirt pulled a quad. <laughs> Pink Shirt is not ready. What a win, dude. There's no way this should be humanly possible. Nope. No. But what is impossible? It's I'm possible. Yes. Whoa. And whenever you're talking about Red Panda, you're talking about the biggest I'm in the history of I'm possible. Yes. What Hell she yeah. does every single night is not supposed to happen. Yes. Uh -uh. There's no way you're supposed to be able to accomplish this. No feat. way. No. AJ Hawk, what you say? How many people can do this? None. Just Red Panda. Five bowls. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Let's go. Yeah. Red Panda take a bow. Hell yeah. Wow. That was awesome. Everybody's got Bryce Young, Will Levis, and Will Anderson uh -huh. above C.J. Stroud, allegedly. Lock them in. We will 1 million percent continue to drive that narrative. That uh -huh. right. Because with the, what my eyes seen, A.J., and what yeah. you have seen, if C.J. Stroud ends up at the Colts at number four, uh -huh. I'm happy about the future of the Colts all of a sudden. Yep. So this will be the last time we say this. C.J. Stroud is the best quarterback in this draft class. That's right. For sure. We are massive fans of them. And whenever we say whatever we say over the next few months before the draft, we would like it to not be held against us because we know we are a part of the entire system here. Uh -huh. And we need C.J. Stroud and Indy. Have, have to have him. Plus, it's really fun to say Stroud. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we need him to go down to the fourth pick. <laughs> yeah, right. you think they have to trade up? Because Texans are right there at two, and, you know, those are the two quarterbacks of the future. Well, I'll tell you what, there's an opportunity and a chance for us to move, too. we got a lot of pieces to the sure. puzzle that That's aren't right. necessarily going to be there in the future, probably. You bundle that with the four overall pick, I think you could maybe move up to one, yeah. and then you get C.J. Stroud! Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not what I thought. Is that not what you thought? Boy, let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Of course. The professional's right in the middle of his lead. That's all right. I just keep I going. You almost lost me. Yeah. Hey, Real tight up here, as you were. I just want to let you know. Reese, you were too smooth with that. I thought it was going down. I thought it was going down out here. Whoa. I looked over his hand, did you? Oh, sorry about it. Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. That's what we thought the whole time. That's what we all thought. About 17 to 18 miles an hour as Pac-Man Jones at the 30, 25, 20, fourth quarter, down seven. Ooh, oh, caught no. by. Is that a white guy? What? Was that a white guy? <laughs> Is that the kicker? No. Is that the kicker? That, that was not a kicker, but that Let's go to the fence. Let's go to Dan in Connecticut. Lovely place here on the five. Hey. Why? Let's go. This show stinks. And the fact that you listen, we are very, very thankful for it. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers, U.P. Stutter! Stutter! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs>
Be a friend, tell a friend something nice. Could change their life. We want that. We want that. Sport, 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 sport. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to our humble abode, the Thunderdome, on this Mania Week Monday, April 1st, 2024. Hour three of the program starts now. Sports are happening all around us. That's AJ Hawk. The talk to the table is here at Boston Connor and at Ty Schmidt. One half of the hammer, Dad. Dad. Cowboys Tone Diggs is here. And joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, is the host of the all-woman panel of College Game Day that was stealing the spotlight all weekend long. Friend of the program from Sports Center, ladies and gentlemen, L Duncan. Yeah. How are you, Al? Let me go this way. Yeah, you'll I'm find adjusting it. on the fly. Yeah. To, there we go. There, there's a sweet right here. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Hi, Boom. fellas. Hey, you do. Hey, great weekend, great cover. Hey, you've been crushing it. Oh, you guys have been crushing out. it. I hope you can feel that. I love. I gotta be honest. It's um, maybe it's just uh, because I'm triggered. I, you know, as I told you guys last time I was on the show, I pissed off all the Albany people. So they were attacking me, and then Boston Connor sucked Fairfield all over me. They were <laughs> mad at me. Yeah. Sorry. So, so it was. So it was. It's been a little overwhelming for everybody to be like really positive. I'm like, well, is this a setup? I feel like uh, I feel like something's coming, but it's been really, really cool. Now keep right. You gotta enjoy the wins. Yeah, yeah that's right. gotta enjoy the wins. I'm right. enjoy it. Yeah, I'm enjoy it. Because there's other stuff coming down the road. You know, we all. Oh, know. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all. We all. Everybody that's in this world understands that. So you gotta enjoy the wins. Speaking of the wins, tonight Elite Eight is taking place, and it feels like you came on and you said. Hey, bet the favorites, mm -hmm. even Fairfield. Well, that was a good bet for her. Yeah, it was. Absolutely <laughs> was. But you said bet the favorites. You know, that's how the women's basketball tournament has kind of ended up in the years past. All the stars are still around, seemingly. All the stars are still around. L, this has got to be dream for the women's March Madness, right? I mean, this is – so when the selection show came out, um, first of all, one of my biggest character flaws in the world is that I love being right. And when the selection committee gave us who was going to be in the tournament, I identified in that lower left quadrant that I thought NC State could pull an upset. I didn't think um, that it was a super tough quadrant. So I am sitting at 99.7% right now on my bracket. My bracket no my way! Hell, hey, take 99. another win! Yeah. Take Let's another go. win! Hell real. yes. That's phenomenal. I got a big fail coming. I got a big fail coming for sure. But uh yeah, no, no, this no. is great. All the one all the one seeds made it to at the very least the Elite Eight. Obviously, they're not gonna all be in the final four because NC State beat Texas, but we've got the biggest matchup, something that we circled last year at the national championship. Like, guys, the ticker tape is falling, LSU's cutting down nets, and we were all going can get this matchup one more time next year it'd be amazing i wish it was a little later in the tournament but we'll take it tonight yeah we absolutely will caitlin clark angel reese angel reese has come out and talked about how she enjoys battling against caitlin clark and caitlin clark yeah was on video this weekend not helping up her teammate whoa that she's so locked in <laughs> can't take a five second thing caitlin clark i think is an actual robot potentially yes who's just here for one thing and one thing alone needs to win a national championship like i assume that is legitimately how she feels on the inside the pressure has to be absurd has she shown any of that at all from the outside I, I don't think we've seen her talk much i don't know how much you've gotten a chance to chat with her legitimately has she she seemingly lives up to the pressure here every single evening still she she is actually like the terminator but she's actually really affable and nice and huh? um she's probably the perfect person to be in this situation affable yeah like really nice and charming yeah like great, really work. Cool, great really, work yeah, yeah, yeah great perfect work. great work yeah i hit you ten dollar words um She's, I think if anybody is like poised enough to uh, be in this position, because you're right, it's not just that she's got the pressure of the world on her. She's kind of caring in many ways. People assume that she's sort of carrying the sport. They're not only talking about what she's doing for women's basketball at the college level, but now they're saying like she could carry the WNBA. She's got NIL deals that she's dealing with. She's got the media that she's dealing with. Like there's a lot on this girl's shoulders and she has handled it so well. Yes, she's emotional on the court. I know that whenever someone is a really big star, we like to start to 
you know, pull at the seams a little bit. We like to find character flaws in them. And if she can complain to the rest a little bit too much, she admits it. Okay. She got kicked out of like elementary school gym because she's too competitive. Her coach said that she calls technicals on her at practice because she's emotional, but she just really is the ultra competitor and she wants to win and losing the way that they lost last year in the national championship. It has been eating at her. She's wanted this opportunity to get back a little revenge on LSU. And it's all coming down to this. So yes, Caitlin Clark is, is she's, she's, Hyper focused, but she's also incredibly deferential. She's also incredibly oh, no! uh, complimentary. I thought myself complimentary of the rest of her squad too, which is really really cool. I saw you try to drop another one of those ten dollar words. <laughs> mm-hmm. yep. I, I, yeah. I get my best. So very affable answer there, and yeah, then you uh, close it with a bang. You did fantastic. Go ahead, AJ. Oh, uh, I'm sure you're aware of the the five million dollar offer that Ice Cube has for Caitlin to come play in the Big Three. Do you think there's any possibility that she's entertaining that? No. <laughs> Whoa! I don't. I don't. Five million. I don't. I mean, listen. Yeah, I know. I get it. She is a she's a businesswoman and all those things. And like people just keep looking at it at the surface with the WNBA salary, which yes, is not going to come close to a five million dollar offer like the first year. But she's got a lot of power. There are negotiating rights coming up, TV rights that are coming up within the next year. She's got incredible endorsements. Like, do we think that because she's going to go to the next level, those are going to disappear? Caitlin Clark's going to make plenty of money i think that the cool thing about what women have to do and also the burden that they have to do is not only do they want to compete at the highest level and become great athletes but they also feel the burden of carrying the torch and growing the game and caitlin's been so clear about that for so long i can't imagine she would bail at this moment and switch gears and go play in the big three i think the whole point is you shouldn't have to go play with a bunch of dudes in order to be legitimized and to get that money i think the point is to water the grass where you are right the grass is green or where you water it i think that's probably i'm just assuming here i don't know but it feels like based on everything that she said it's much more important to her to accomplish a dream of playing in the w she never had a dream when she was a kid on her storyboard to play in the big three so yes yeah, she's a businesswoman would she entertain it she'd be crazy not to i just don't see it happening. well i don't know if the big three was around whenever she was growing up <laughs> yeah. to be fair yeah. Yeah. Yep, true. to be fair might have been on the board you can update you can update dream board I agree. you can update I agree. vision board keep it moving yeah, keep yeah. it going keep striving for more and more and more and she could be representing for the wnba in the big three whenever she's beating everybody you know mm, trying to yeah. grow the game hey wnba players i mean there's a way you could spin it but we all agree with what you were saying immediately upon hearing it we thought good idea for the big three because Caitlin brings the rating. Like, mm-hmm. ratings is, you talk about leaving the game better than it was before. It's like the big business conversation always resorts back to, well, how many people are watching it for our marketing and sponsors? It's like this college basketball tournament, for, hey, ratings, right? We're talking about more people watching this tournament than ever before. Like this, so last year's um, Iowa LSU game for the Natty, it did almost 10 million viewers on ABC. It was the most watched women's basketball game, period, on record ever. And while cable, obviously, as you guys know, is a little different than ABC, like you can't get bunny ears with ESPN, um, it could rival that number. I think, listen, I don't blame Ice Cube at all for offering her that. I mean, hell, if you run the National Pickleball League, you should be asking Caitlin Clark to come. Whatever sport it is, you should be asking (laughs) Caitlin Clark to come and grace her and grace her presence there because she is she is a marketing machine she is a money making machine we've just never seen really anything like her and that's not um to say that we haven't had incredibly talented women play for many many years in the space because they have but she's just sort of this unique player that is really capitalizing with um more eyes than ever on the women's game so yes i don't blame him for doing it i just it just doesn't feel like part of her brand to jump ship and i don't think the WNBA is going to let her play agreed and with how locked in she is allegedly to her routine and everything adding 10 more games in the middle of the season feels like a interesting decision but hey never know five million could become 10 million in a counter and then are you having a conversation or not we shall see let's stay with caitlin clark go ahead ty yeah so l how do you think iowa wins tonight like what do they have to do in order to win tonight i think they're one and a half point favorites last i checked but it seemed like most of the public is on lsu i'm a little i don't know if they should be favorites but uh, they, I think they played their most complete game in a long time against Colorado. All five starters, obviously, in double figures. But then all this shit with Kim Mulkey comes out. Like It seems like that's kind of galvanized the mm-hmm. LSU team a little bit. What do you think Iowa has to do in order to win tonight? First of all, it doesn't take much for LSU to have a chip on their shoulder. Like Last year, they had a chip on their shoulder because they were a three seed and people were saying they couldn't really score. They 
love to sort of take on this role. Like it does. These galvanizing moments are really big for LSU. Here's what I'll tell you guys, because I'm lucky enough to sit, as you saw this weekend, with some of the best basketball minds in the business and Andrea Carter and Chinea Gumake. This is what they keep saying when I ask them the same question, because these are two very different teams from last year. The issue for Iowa is that LSU has Angel Reese in the post. She had them last year, but then they went in the transfer portal and got Anissa Morrow, and those two are walking double-doubles. Like, they just got a size advantage. Hannah Stolke uh, replaced Monica Zanano as their post player. Monica graduated last year. She was instrumental in their fi- Final Four run last year. Um, she's just not – they just don't have the size advantage that LSU has. Angel Reese has the benefit of playing in the SEC where she's had to bang uh, up against Aaliyah Boston last year, Camilla Cardoso this year, who's six foot seven for South Carolina. They just played Lauren Betts in the UCLA game, who's six foot seven. Like she's been used to getting bodied and being very physical. I don't think the same applies for Hannah Stolke, but here's where Iowa can win. Threes are the great equalizer. If you're undersized, but you're hitting threes, you can win these kinds of games. So it's exactly what you guys said. It was an incredibly complete game against Colorado, something we thought would be a little bit tougher, if I'm being honest. But Caitlin was out there dishing. She had 15 assists. And I think that what it's going to take this year, Caitlin has said it too, is stop trying to just live and die by the three. She took 19 three-pointers in that national championship game last year. They ended up losing by 17 points. She wants to get to the free throw line. Uh-huh. She wants to drive. She wants to get Angel Reese into foul trouble. you got to get Angel Reese out of that game. The other big issue for Iowa is that the real X factor this year is Flage Johnson. She is on freaking believable it's like she's elevated her game not only from last year but just in this tournament as well it would take a lot they'd have to out rebound lsu which would be difficult limit second chance points and they got to get the three going if the rest of the role players on iowa can have the game of their lives they can win oh and if, okay sound like you gave them a lot of hope there at the very <laughs> tail yeah. all the role players need to be able to say is it ain't my fault Shout out to... uh, Did I do that? Yeah, Flo Flo J uh, sampling that with her new uh, song that is available right now. Go ahead, download that. She said the other day, I love that. Everybody's going to knock because I rap and I play basketball, so I worked my ass off. She had like 24 points or something like that. Absolute stud. Love it. Love everything. Pat, Pat, when she she goes and performs, like even during the summer when they're not in season, when she goes and performs, she makes her mom go find a gym so that before and after her concerts, she's working out. She's always in the gym, and it's showing. She is unreal right now. So is that game taking place, LSU and Iowa? in that gym that had two different three-point lines? Hmm. Is that how? <laughs> hell, what the hell? No. How's this happen? Where was it? It was up in Portland, right? Which I think I think it there could Portland. be a deal with Canada to give them Portland <laughs> and we get Windsor. Nah, like that, nah, nah, that kind nah, of nah, yeah. Nah, yeah, we'll nah, give you guys nah, Portland. Nah. Just I mean, you can't even get the uh, same three-point line on both sides. Of the, in the NCAA tournament, Sweet 16, I mean, what are we? What are we? We'll take Windsor. Canada gets Portland. Perfect. Feels like an okay deal, but yeah. nonetheless, I'm sure there's great things up there, but this is... How's this happen now? What did they say? They said they're going to change it and they're sorry? How, what how, what yeah. does that mean? It's so weird, too, because like we're sitting there on the desk. We're getting ready. You know, We just like ended the South Carolina game. We're getting ready to tip from this game. And my producer jumps in my ear and she's like, okay, we may have a developing story out of Portland. You know, And like the girls are talking. You know how it happens on live TV. Your producers are talking. The analysts are talking. And I'm like, okay, what's this story? And she's like, there is a discrepancy with the three-point line in Portland that apparently was missed in the last round in the Sweet 16. One of the sides is is shallower than the other side, but they don't know which side is right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I'm so like, this is real life. This happened multiple times. This, I thought it was just like a one-game situation. No, 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 no. Apparently, this happened also in the Sweet 16, which is, I think, in part why the coaches were like, this guy fine. I mean, listen, up. right? The, the <laughs> good and the bad news is, like, both teams have to use one of those sides. Like, so it's, it is what it is in terms of that. I also think they discovered this too late in the process. Mm-hmm. Like, listen, I've never been a professional athlete, but you guys have been, Pat, AJ, like, you go through a rhythm when you get ready for the game. You do your shoot around. You have your traditions. You have your super, whatever it looks like to get it game ready. If someone tells you minutes before the game, we have this discrepancy. If you're cool with it, we can tip normal time. If you're not cool with I it, you they're going to either have to stop. You think they knew? I bet you numerous shooters. Shooters would know. Like, I, I think shooters would know. Just as somebody who casually shoots over here. But they were probably, like, laughed at when they were like, hey, this is right. March Madness. They've got two. 
There's no way. That, there's no. Somebody told them no way. Yeah, there, I assume people. I assume women on both teams knew, like when the game was happening. I assume. Well, the internet sleuths were probably like, laughed people. At. They people like looked at. I mean, all you had to do was just look at center court, and you're like, this doesn't look right at all. Just the eye test, you could tell it was off. Just like the feel, and, you know, and, like as somebody who had yeah, to kick the feel. ball, had to kick a ball. Like if a ball was either overinflated or a little bit deflated, could tell. I think like I'd assume shooters who are like, well, yeah. why am I yeah. deep on this side? One hundred percent. And then I'm splash on this. I, Definitely. I, but I bet you they were laughed at. I honestly, I, yep. I just, they were like, no way this could be real. No way. God, but it is. So, hey, way to, way to bounce through some adversity. Mm, yeah. Huge. Way to go through adversity. They really did. And shout out to the court makers just saying, you know what? Yeah. How about this? Two different lengths. Huh. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. If you're a good shooter, right. figure it out. Connor's got a question for you, L. Yeah, L, looking to okay. the other game tonight. Obviously, you know, UConn is the storied franchise, but with – you know, Juju Watkins and USC and what they're doing, being the one seed and everything, is it kind of a uh, wash for them, even though they are three-point underdogs? Does that surprise you at all? And do you, how do you think that game goes tonight? It didn't surprise me. I actually had I had UConn and USC playing at this point, and I had UConn advancing to the Final Four for only this reason, the, the benefit of experience. I mean, Gino's been to, like, 17 of these like he's always here Paige Beckers has despite some of her injuries has more experience um and and but it wouldn't surprise me the way that Juju Watkins is playing for her to win this game too I mean she has literally put the entire team on her back and the thing is is that her shooting's been a little bit off in this tournament she's not shooting as accurately as she was so she just always finds some way to impact the game and in that last game it was through free throws it was like I think she made like six of the last seven points for USC and they were all via the free throw line. So, um, but you can't, I think people because of the injuries have forgotten how good Paige Beckers is. And they are just now re being reintroduced to who she was. She missed the tournament last year with that ACL tier. She is so good. You guys, the biggest issue for UConn is literally no one's healthy. I mean, they mm. can't afford to get into foul trouble because they've got no, players on the bench they've got no one to go to Paige had to move positions because there's been so many injuries on this team Aaliyah Edwards has to stay out of foul trouble because they only have like two post players available on the bench that's the biggest issue for UConn is getting into foul trouble and just being tired these girls are putting up a lot of minutes I still think though just the benefit of experience and having been here before I'm still going to give it to UConn but man it would be so cool to see Juju move on her freshman year they've not been to the final four since 1984 I was one years old and my old ass has multiple children so that means long it's time. been a long time. a lot of generations sounds like <laughs> sounds like it's generations we also learned that when you were 18 you were a talented club sneaker in her this weekend hell we learned, yes yeah we all were i had yeah, an older brother yeah. who looked very similar to me in the face uh body was different though so i had to drop social security number a couple of different times but <laughs> that, that was a talent that was a good talent that you had to have thank you yeah i actually got busted once because i had a fake id my sister was a little bit of a narc my older sister so she wouldn't let me steal her id Whoa. which sucks um so i would get oh, like fake id yeah, made yeah exactly we're supposed to do you're supposed to sacrifice for each other that's family but i did have a fake id one time and didn't really pay attention to like what age they made me Can't or the birth date Can't so i got busted because they quizzed me i know it's so yeah. stupid they quizzed yeah. me L, on my birthday L, L, and I L, 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 that's L. amateur stuff I know. that's amateur stuff this is on you you gotta know that that's that's i know you gotta know that front and back the, the one i got I, my card didn't work one time it was in canada they asked me my sign my sign. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? Yeah, yeah. It was a good question. It was good. I actually said, Pull. Got me. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I will give you your thing back. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to the You know the thing store. that sucks, too? The thing that sucks, too, is that at least in Georgia, I don't know how it works everywhere else. So long as someone shows you like a serviceable ID, all of the like liability is off of you as the mm. ID looker. And so anyone that like does all that to you is just being an asshole. Like they're just being well, top flight security, super extra about their job. Because security. short of you showing me a piece of paper, yeah. short of you showing me a piece of paper, and if they don't offer ID training, which no one does, like once you show me something that's like decent, I can let you in. Uh, I don't have any more liability. I was sick of the hardos in there. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's a different time now, though. <laughs> the world now. So different. We were just talking about this because, you know, everything that's kind of happening in the world right now. Like back in the day, it used to be so different. Like now, like 
kids can't, hey, and should never, obviously. But like drugs aren't even like, nowadays can't, you'll, you'll die. Yeah. Like you're, di you're dead. There's like, it's a whole different world now at this stage of life. And these young kids, you can't, we tell these stories about what back in the day was like. It ain't like that for you. They Sorry. Know. It's just a very different, it's crazy the more I learn now because my daughter, I couldn't even imagine a couple kids there. Like, it's crazy what I'm learning about. It's, it's a wild time to kind of grow up right now. I couldn't even fathom. It really is. Pat, it's so crazy you say that because I have had this conversation with my husband a lot. Like, listen, you know, you get loose, you have fun. Like, I definitely saw some parties where it was like, this is really going down, yes. where people were just kind of like, you know, doing their thing. But you cannot. Now, you cannot anymore. Can't do it. Like, there's no room. There's no room for error anymore, or it'll cost you your life. It's incredibly scary. It's all part of why I think, like, you know, we like to give shit to these younger generations for whatever reason, for how they dress or how seemingly entitled they are and all those things. But they're growing up in a time we really didn't grow up in. And so I do try to give a little bit of grace to how much pressure there is and how everything counts now. Everything counts in terms of the drugs. Everything counts in terms of it being on record forever on social media. Like oh. they are under a, an amount of pressure that we've never experienced before. Everything they say, it literally, and you all are of it. Every, every practice rep, you yep. can't get dunked on in practice. Nope. Because that's going to no. go viral you're done. and you're going to get buried the next day. I mean, it's real. It's a very different world, but it is still a lot of shit. Like every day there's some shit. Yes. Pat, I, like, you know what's so crazy? Making it full circle to what you just said. There's a player on South Carolina named Raven Johnson. And when South Carolina played Iowa last year in the Final Four, um, Caitlin, uh, Raven was wide open for a three. And Caitlin waved her off and it went viral because she was basically like, that girl ain't going to shoot. Right. And it went viral. And Raven talked about how she wanted to quit basketball because social media was so mean to her after that. Like they terrorized her and that she had to turn to her faith and her family and her teammates. And she went into the gym and she worked. And Raven Johnson has now hit two clutch threes in South Carolina. Go, Raven. Games, good score, Raven. Raven. Hell yeah, Raven. Like, Hell but yeah. that's the point is that it's painful. And like yeah. you live out your worst moments in front of the whole world. And it's so unfair. Yeah. Well, it's sports though. Sports. Uh, you're, yeah, sure. It's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen. And we yeah. appreciate everybody. Good luck to you the rest of the way. What do we have? How many more shows? We got a final. We got a, what do we? Yeah, we got, we got the show today and then we've got, um, we'll see you on Friday night at the final four. And then of course we've got the national championship Sunday, ABC, 3 PM Eastern. Ooh, shameless plug. I'm not going to see any of it. WrestleMania. Yeah, it's Mania mm -hmm. season. But we'll, Mania catch oh, we'll catch clips. Oh, you're not talking. We'll catch clips. Okay, all we'll right. Catch clips. You're gonna I'll kill catch it. clips of you at WrestleMania. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, L. Duncan. Yeah. yeah. We'll catch clips. We'll catch clips. Yep. All yeah. of them. They were, everybody was singing their praises this weekend. Oh, yeah. it was a great weekend. Yeah. I actually watched all the games because it was perfect because early on on Saturday before the uh, Elite Eight started, it was all the women's Sweet 16. They're all the big names. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still in it, mm -hmm. and that that's is why it, that's it has works. been great. Yeah, yeah. that's because, been two years in a row now. Uh -huh. Yeah, where yeah. it's like the storylines have remained storylines all the way to Mania. Yeah, you know? bingo, bingo. exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. I made it all the way to Mania. Final boss is still there. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Huge. How about the Kim Mulkey thing coming and going, and everybody being like, "Yeah, okay," and they're dancing in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is she suing anybody? Do we know? I don't She's having her lawyers look into it. Yeah, I assume. <laughs> We're going to read that. Thing. Yeah. Front to back, back to front, mm -hmm. up to down. I warned you. You had a chance. They interviewed her pregame, too. And she mentioned, like, I haven't read any of it. How about the, hey, the LA Times thing? That was real deal. Oh, yeah. Real How about her going, look up Debbie Debutantes. Go ahead and look it up. Yeah. Go ahead and look it up. Right now, I want you. I looked it up whenever I saw that clip. I had no idea. That was a porn. I believe so. What happened? That was a fuck film. Yeah. Supposedly. The. So in the article, I guess, I did not read the article, and they have since edited the article, allegedly. Yes. The opinion uh, uh, writer basically called the some team versus the Debbie debutantes of LSU. Good versus evil is how it's being projected. LSU being yeah. the evil and then them being the Debbie debutantes is how Kim said this. So LA Times, I don't know. I'm going off of what head coach of LSU said. And I didn't know what Debbie debutantes was. I, I was like. All right, it seems like something people have said before because of how quickly she yeah. flowed off. And I looked it up. It, yeah, it's porno. Mm -hmm. Really? And she was like, "Look at the this hell? is what the way they're talking about it." And that, like at this time, with the way she has been chatting about how the media has covered her and her team, it was like, "Hey, Kim, feels like a lot of people are on your side whenever it comes to some of this stuff." Yeah, I think it was they were playing UCLA, so you know, hometown hometown team, LA Times. Again, but I mean, that's what she was saying is like. 
you know, you, you think I want to be talking about all this bullshit before we're getting ready to go? And then that she's just kept deferring to that. Like, my lawyers are going to thumb through it. My lawyers are going to thumb through it. I'll, I'll respond to it. Hey, I day. saw some highlights, I think, of Kim Mulkey playing point guard. Oh, she, yeah. She was a those. dog. She won a gold. She won a gold medal. Yeah. 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 Really? And yeah. then they won the I natty. They won the natty. They won the natty, yeah. the natty yeah. with her. Yeah. yeah. She, she, I, I had no idea. For Color. Us. It was colored video, which I would not have expected. I would, <laughs> Where'd I, you she go? <laughs> Uh, Lafayette or something somewhere in Louisiana. Yeah, Louisiana Lafayette. She had baby blue on. Raging Cajun. Okay, I believe so. Yeah, there Here it is. is. Here we go. Here it is. Oh yeah, she's smacking the floor. You know that. She's Five. playing D. Yeah, vicious. Lady D. Texas. Yeah, that's her. We go pit. <sighs> Beast. I didn't know we were wearing three quarter zips. Oh yeah. I, I need a jersey yeah, today. Sweet. I need and one of these. She's directing the front. Yeah. Yeah. Floor I'm, I'm buying a Mulkey jersey. Look at that's yeah. end to end to the cup. In the bay, dude. Yeah, I had no idea. I knew she dressed awesome. And yeah. I know she had a sweet accent, mm -hmm. and I knew she seemingly Ooh. was a dog. Perfect bounce pass. Because yeah. they win as soon as she shows up. Win, 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 win. Yep. These highlights at the end, I'm like, damn. Kim Mulkey used to cross folks up. What an Addy. Yeah. So cool. What an Addy. Been there, done that. So whenever she look up Debbie, Debbie Tones. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking running the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all in on Mulkey. All in. Have you read the? Have you thumbed through? That? I have not. I haven't even thought about looking at it. <laughs> I don't think any, you know that is interesting because all of the journalists came out mm -hmm. and they were like, they've been trying to reach out for you uh, to you for two years, so they didn't just give you a two day period to answer mm -hmm. these questions. They were trying to do their journalism. Okay. They they have to tell stories sometimes that people, the subjects, don't want to hear. Like that was like every journalist seemingly hit the internet mm -hmm. and was like, "Hey Kim, this is all." And I think a lot of sports people were like, "Tell them, Kim." Yeah. You know, <laughs> tell him. I was in the middle, you know, because like the way she did say, two years they've been reaching out to me, and then they gave me two. It's like that kind of is a little bit of a kind of had your chance. But so. also could see the, with the way she was laying it out. Oh, you find disgruntled people who weren't good enough to play. Basically, you could find anybody that would say something that you could you could write a hit piece on anybody. It's like also very valid out of Kim, and then her going, "I will sue." If there are any false stories, like damn, okay, Kim, Kim's ready. Yeah, Kim's ready. Well, I was like just fascinated by the entire situation, and now it feels like a lot of people are like, Kim's a dog. All right with yeah. Kim. Okay, Kim's a dog out there. I believe she was also very pissed because they reached out to her dad and her sister, who she had like a really bad falling out. Like they said, she hasn't talked to her dad in you know like over thirty years or something like that, and like her and her sister have no communication anymore, and that that's what she was like. You know, you go you go to my family, which is like a, a thing that no one's really talking about. It's all been about like the players and her coaching style. But they, they kind of did that, I think, in order to like paint a, por a a wider portrait about who she is as a person and stuff like that. And she was not too happy about that. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I read the article. I don't know how many people did. Didn't seem it seemed like it came and went. She's still coaching, yeah. and her and her team were dancing afterwards. We'll be excited to see the Elite Eight this evening as it tips off at 7 p.m. Good luck to all of the women. Good yeah. luck. Good Good. How are they underdogs? How are they underdogs? L says they have to. Everyone on Iowa has to play the game of their life to win, but they're favorites. You know why? Sports books are looking for 50-50 yep. of bets. Mm, yeah. The amount of people that Iowa, 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 which is why the ratings are what they are. Especially Iowa has game like all the places that has sports gambling. Yeah. You would think are massive mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark fans. It probably got introduced to college basketball, women's college basketball through yeah. Caitlin Clark. So the sports books probably feel pretty good about Iowa games and being able to either make this spread much bigger or give them points and humans will take it. What yeah, do you think, Tony? I would assume there's a lot of futures on Iowa, too. So maybe trying to make up with uh, some money on LSU here just in the short run, just because I assume if Iowa wins the national championship, there's been a lot of Iowa betting. There's probably a lot of LSU, too. I assume these are two the two most bet on teams uh, throughout the season. Yeah. I do I do like the way Flo J. She she is incredible. Twenty four points the other day. Yeah, I bet her to score twenty points tonight for sure. Get it, those props. See, you're you a can. part of the problem. No, yeah. no, you got to get them in while you can. Yeah. If the NCAA hey. wants to take away prop bets, you got to bet as many as possible. They have. Them. I got to watch you watch kids play basketball in March Madness yesterday <laughs> at Easter. So fun. Great time. So fun. It was a great time. Thank you guys for coming yeah, over. Thank you for having, having us. Happy brother. Easter. Hope you guys have thank you, brother. Hope you had a good time. Thank you, brother. This dude had seven player props parlays going at the same time yeah. so every human on he's the problem a missed layup a missed free throw he's calling mm. these kids the biggest bums of all time and i'm like this is it was five straight missed free throws it wasn't just oh, one no. missed free throws five straight all three of the guys who were shooting i had to score so we're in the middle of easter you know my daughter is doing the whole thing mm -hmm. 
and he is literally motherfucking some college kid that we've never met before. We have no idea because he just won over for two at the foul line. Yeah. And I'm literally sitting there. I'm like, you're the reason. Hey, you probably. are the reason why this is happening. He goes, oh, I'm I'm the blame. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm more invested in these games than anybody else, which also true. Pretty valid. <laughs> also valid. Yeah. Pretty valid. I'm but watching them like it's my life. Just the the reaction to these players if they don't hit a prop bet for somebody, even if the team wins, it's just that feels like the wrong. You know, feels like that's for grandstanding purposes sure mm -hmm. that feels like an easy one for the ncaa and for betting to kind of yeah. get rid of yeah and to your point if caitlin clark doesn't score 40 points and i'm gonna like her drastically less than i do you're selling your moment. season tickets yeah no well i wouldn't i wouldn't go that far because 40. i already have some few you have her to bets. score 40 tonight yeah absolutely okay. she's not yeah even, i mean she's gonna, you can't she's even put it up you can't bet on her to score anything below 30 listen you're this is what i'm talking about the Bro. books aren't helping hey, either. No. Score 40 no. against LSU. Bucket, yeah, Buckets okay. is averaging 28, so. Yeah, Paige Buckets also, also bet in. on her, also bet on Juju Watkins, also bet on Flojay. See, like, this is what we're talking about. Years. I watched it yesterday, AJ. He's the problem. He's he's not the only one. There's a lot of people yeah. doing that. A lot, of pe a lot of people really pissed off, it seems like, if you have these prop bets and they're not hitting. Yeah, see, fuck that. That is the stuff that pisses me off. If you're pissed, you just got pissed off. If you're pissed, get in here, Trevor, man. Yeah. If you're pissed that I'm betting on these people because they're there on the site. Fuck that, because that's bullshit. I want to bet on them. And guess what? I bet deep down some of those girls are like, fucking right, bet on me. I, I, I okay. want you to bet on yeah. me, because I want to be that yeah. How about I'm going to prove con man right. That's yeah, what they say. I'm boom. proving con man right tonight. That's, that's what, what Edie said. I, Edie, yeah. Edie did say people talking like they know us. They don't. We're a bunch of fucking winners. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's like, all right, here yeah. we go. Cutting down a net standing. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah a, that's, that's a wild move. That's a big <laughs> dick move for Ladder sure. Ladder right next to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. What are we doing? They pay a lot for that ladder. Think either, about so. think about his day to day. Think about his day to day. Sure. Being that big sucks. Oh, uncomfortable. Sucks. You know, oh cars. Everything you're in. Oh, everything you boo -hoo, do. Boo hoo! You're seven thing. four. What are you talking about? Boo hoo! You're seven four. Think about literally everything oh, other okay. than basketball. Sorry, I gotta get a bigger car, but I get paid millions to be in the NBA. No, okay. no. Right, so Tony showering. Tony, just it's think about the process tone? of pooping on a regular toilet. Yeah, yeah. Like not every track. not He's every gonna, John is gonna be a home John. Don't no. care. He's gonna be at an away game having a dump Lying. on a tiny little. He's gonna he, end up getting paid for it. So He's I been peeing care. in the toilet like a hose into a blow up. <laughs> Pool in the backyard his entire life. Think oh, about that. Yeah, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, his penis Think getting about all that. wet all the time. The in entire the time. Water. Oh, boo -hoo. Just stuck in there. He's got to bring a towel <laughs> when he goes to the bathroom. Guy, dude, seven four. Dude, yes. Yeah. I'm not saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every day of his life. It's to pee with a condom. I thought on. that when we saw Big Perk in person last <laughs> week. Like, dude, that guy just got off a plane. <laughs> Perk, Perk is sitting. He's six what? Ten. Yeah. Six yeah. nine. Six eight. He said. No, six, no. Six, 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 nine, nine. six ten with shoes on. Shoes yeah. on. Yeah. He's sitting yeah. like so this big. everywhere he sits. You go to a restaurant, yeah, right. Exactly. Cars, impossible. Mm -mm. The the way we feel about those race cars, which they have the little race car driver size mm -hmm. seats, mm -hmm. yep. and they're yep. jockeys at the end of the day. Yeah. There's a couple of them that are seemingly overly grown, but the, the, most of them are tiny little fellas. He's like that with every single part of his life. Yeah. Other than... So you wouldn't, want to be that, you wouldn't want to be that tall? No. Okay. I don't think so. Too tall. 6'6", six, six, I feel like is the max. Don't connect. Boom. Is that what he is? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Guy's pretty good. Fucking phenomenal. So good. I, I didn't know he existed. Fun to watch. Lottery pick. I know. I saw I'll, your tweet. It's fun to watch. So you knew him? <laughs> did you know who he was? No, I knew I knew the name. I didn't. I had, I had no clue how good he really was. I think I'd seen Clay Travis tweeting about him maybe during the season yeah. a couple different times. I think I saw his name pop up. I definitely didn't know his connect. I thought for sure that's that was a sign. Neck. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought for sure. So when I started hearing that whole thing, I was mind blown. But then watching him play like an entire game, first time, it's like holy shit. <clears throat> he's making his own shot. He's doing mm -hmm. the entire thing. He's tall. Seems to be a dog. Zero. Facial expression, anything. None. Something awesome, same. Looks exhausted. Mm -hmm. Nothing, same. Looks exhausted. Dapping up everybody. They're running plays through. He was literally the... Oh, it was yeah. him versus Edie for mm -hmm. like seven minutes of that second half. He was awesome to watch. Yeah, he's incredible. Like he, that, That's the type of player that... I mean, Barkley said it. It's like, hey, those are the guys that are playing in the NBA. Come next year. Yeah, well, why didn't you go to West Virginia, don't get it? Probably because no one two, wants to play Two-time transfer, anymore. right? Yeah, so why didn't you transfer to West Virginia? Yeah, he's, right. yeah, yeah, he's a big huggy. Yeah, yeah, huggy guy. Guy. They're back. Got West rid Virginia's kicked back. Kicked them out. You're damn right. Yeah. Who they got? Darren DeVries. They hired him. Drake's head coach. His son is very good, and he's transferring. 
You got a couple other guys from Drake who are tra who have already entered the portal. There's a good chance they're going to go to West Virginia. It's like Creighton. Going to need a lot of them. The That's what we back. do. That's what we do, West Virginia. Could go from worst to first. Whoa. We, we don't need to talk about worse? that worst. Yeah, worse? they were last, yeah, I guess. Like Big 12, good conference. It is. They got good it basketball. Yeah. Very good. Good basketball. They got a Final Four team this year. Do they? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh I think they had an Elite Eight Rifle. team. Shit. I thought we found one. I think they might have an Elite Eight team. So there's the old Big East, which is where West Virginia is from. Yeah. Okay, UConn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back-to-back -back national champion. I will have you if they're able to complete this thing. I don't yeah, like that. Like it's, so it's a little cricket. Right so here. good. What's no, that? It's supposed to be like that. Why? Because the dog... <laughs> Because dogs are cute Wait, when they turn what? their head like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> that thing needs to be. The husky's, the husky's the logo. It's at one o'clock. It's just chilling. Uh oh, you're upset. It's, it's all chilling. centered, right? Uh -huh. so, is, so is Purdue, though. Yeah. <laughs> and the wolf pack. This is what happens. Actually, and Bama. What the hell? You go like this. The dog's going like this because it's like. Uh, Circles are hard to get Yeah, straight. actually, fuck that. They messed this up. Yeah, all of them. The are final four up. graphic is, too. Oh, is it because But that's art, boy. That's dancing. art, boy. Yeah, oh, they're dancing. Yeah. They're moving. Okay. Yeah, look at March Madness is dancing. They made a choice. They made that choice. Yeah. Should we zoom into him? Like an actor. DJ BJ's awesome. Yeah, the best. Get in here, graphics man. <laughs> DJ BJ's awesome. Yeah. When's he, Edie getting drafted? The... How high? He's going uh, 30 to the Celtics. He's not going to make it to 30. Per, per Bleacher Report Mark draft. <laughs> <laughs> I've convinced myself he's going to be good in the NBA. He's going to be a lottery pick. Direct yes. TV's I mean, down, I guess. I'm looking right over there. He's got IG to... was down earlier, too. We What's got, that? I think we got storms rolling in today. Ooh. Happening right now? I believe I just got like a flood warning, and then at like five to six p.m. I guess. Yeah, storms are rolling. Yeah, we yeah. are in a flood wash until uh, eight p.m. What? So no planes yeah. getting out of here. Same here. No, oh, I think, no, I think no, you got I think time. Fine. I think you're fine. No, you're fine. Flood watch. Watch you means should, no. you should send a text no. right now for sure. Flood, flood, flood warning. watch. Flood getting back. Morning means nothing. Well, so no, no, it's the other way around. You sure? With watch flood? means nothing. <laughs> sure. With warning floods? means danger. Oh, with floods, I guess I don't know. I was gonna say, you sure with the floods. I'm I mean, not. Warning feels like it's one step worse than watch. Yeah. Well, for, oh, yes. for NATO's, absolutely. Yes. Warning feels worse because watch is like, hey, we're, Look just, out. we're keeping an eye out. But there's no TV yeah. over out there. 6 p.m. is when the storms are supposed to roll. Yeah, so the storms will begin oh. to push in the west later this uh, afternoon mm -hmm. evening. In the west. And will continue to move into the environment that has potential support. In into the west what? It, uh, for Indiana, sorry. So okay. Not. Getting back oh. tonight now, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Is it is rain yeah. all night? Yeah. Storms on the rain. Yeah. What? You still want too much lightning. Fuck that, brother. <laughs> it's not just the lightning, it's it's the whole thing. You got no problem getting that. It sounds like there's a problem get, both ways. It seems like there's nope. a lot of signs. Not till six PM tonight. Getting out, you'll be fine, just fine. What yeah, I know. Everybody said the same thing. <laughs> be just fine. It's a round trip. This is out. Well, it's late though. It should be settled down by later tonight. Is that what I'm here? I'm or, not hearing that. Or maybe amped up a little Thunderstorm. bit. Thunderstorm. <laughs> Pretty much all night. Yeah. What we the don't know. fuck? Oh. No, the thunder stops at uh, 10 p.m. Okay! We're good. Yeah. Well, the thunder's here. <laughs> about the <laughs> Yeah, it's headed. Oh, we'll go up it's over top. It. Okay. Go up over top of that bad boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this MickeyMouse.com? Can we go to... <laughs> oh, Wendy.com. Can we get Cantor? There it is. I cleared it up. Oh, Can we get Cantor's Doppler, please? Can we FaceTime Cantor? <laughs> I saw Al Roker on a walking uh, a treadmill desk getting some work in. That's awesome. I like that. That radar didn't look Pretty that sweet. bad, honestly. Yeah, it seems easy yeah, colors. Come on. Yeah. It was kind of like an Easter. Didn't I've never awesome. seen a radar like that. That was windy.com. Oh, that's why. I'm not a windy.com guy. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anybody I don't think anybody is. And no. so Zito just pulled that thing up. But you need the wind to fly, people forget. Of course. Mm -hmm. Too much of it, they'll get you. Yeah, not good. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that was What's that? What's that? There's a dong the looking red? one there. There's a, a little dong. bit. There's a dong, purple dong. What is that? That's at Indiana. What time is that? We can't see that, that. right now. Oh, that was actually Tuesday. So I think you guys are good. <laughs> what? Okay, it's a different day. Right. Pull, pull up three. Happy weeks we're looking ago. at that last Tuesday. Tuesday. Go to <laughs> just, 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 just go to Doppler.com. Uh, <laughs> I'm channel. happy. I'm Thank happy you, D. Though. But there's only one we, place to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm happy Wendy.com, though, told us what we did go through last week. Yeah. yeah. It's good to <laughs> know. You. If you ever need to know what was going on, Wendy.com's got your back. Mm -hmm. Every time. That's really nice of them to have that figured out for us. That was for midnight going tomorrow, basically. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Be alert. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do that, honestly. I'm excited to feel it. Just, well, pff, whoa, whoa, all right. <laughs> Okay. What about next uh, right. next Monday is the eclipse? Can you fly during that? 
Uh, the eclipse is in the afternoon. We're going to fucking miss it. Yeah, you'll it. be after it, yeah. Yeah, we're going to miss it. All right, My kids go. get off school and everything for that. It's a big deal. Yeah, a lot of them are. Yeah, people are traveling into Indy. What if it's cloudy? Anyways. That'd be oh, either just, way. Oh, we're still fine. It's going to be dark. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, I said 6 p.m. It's just rain, right? Yeah, but let's keep it going. Does it go later? Yeah, it only looks windy.com like, goes later. Unfortunately, it looks like you guys might catch it. Coming no, you, just back. To, you just have to click on well, 24, the hour, 24 in the hour air. future. <laughs> Not <laughs> just, just click on the 24 hour no, future. Only like you should be able to get you tone. There we go. There you go. Here it is. Here we go. Let's press play now. Yeah, let's go to uh, two. Oh, hours. what's that? Red. Uh, here we go. It's easy. We don't need to be pointing. Yeah. Uh, oh, mama. Oh, green, green. No. We're good. Yeah, you're good. That was we're good. I just saw it. I just saw it. green. The red was 10 30. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that went green, real fast, really fast oh, no, increments. If you could pause that, pause it. Play. Jeez, carbon deal is done. Pause. You're good. you're good. Just green. Green. Yeah, you're set. You need green. Yeah, you need, you need green. green. You need green to fly. See green. Are, hey, guess what? It's April first. These are out April showers, baby. What are those bring? May, May flowers. Hell yeah! Not the boat. That's we're what it's all about. about the plant. Let's, let's make sure we're giving our flowers to people whenever they're you know with us yeah. and in the middle of a run. Yes. Today was a tough program, mm -hmm. you know, from the news that we learned earlier today about former teammate Darius and I, Vontae Davis, passing away this morning. Should be a nice reminder, though, to go tell your people what's up. Mm -hmm. Haven't talked to somebody in a while. Don't be scared to send a direct message, a text message, maybe even a video now. FaceTime people. It's available. Just check in on your people and let them know that they're not alone ever. And they don't have to be doing, you know, things that potentially are very harmful to themselves. And... Uh, yeah, it sucks. Vontae is a good human. Mm -hmm. That was today was a tough day. He was uh, he was good at that too. Checking in, mm -hmm. like random random check ins, texts, calls, and obviously you learn to appreciate those things when you don't get them. You know, you lose a family member, a grandparent, a parent, or something like that. But uh, it's tough tough losing anyone, especially close to you, younger than you. Um, but you know, talked to a lot of people. He left uh, a lot of good memories, oh, you know, yeah. with us. Um, had some laughs, had some cries, um, and uh, you know. Once again, send the love and condolences to his family. Hey, you handled a really good, tough spot. Yeah. Tough spot. Appreciate you. I want to have the hammer down, uh, Cowboys, D-Butt, or, or Diggs, you look fantastic Thank today. you. Talks the table, wonderful work. Uh, you, you too, too bad. Everybody in the back, great work today. Great work, boys. Great work. AJ, I'm going to get the hell out of here because uh, it feels like there's a potential storm brewing, and uh, tonight we're in Brooklyn for Monday Night Raw. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Big, big Monday night, right? With being yeah, ma Mania Week, like all Monday kinds night. of situations could pop up, huh? Yeah, well, The Rock, Roman, what? Cody, what? What? Seth. What? There you go. Mommy's going to be there. Yes! Uh, yes. Oh, Mommy's coming? It's a big Monday night. It's Mania Week. We're kicking off Mania but Week. But J.D.? Well, I hope J.D. Be. McDonald will News be, will be there. Ricochet? Okay. Cry okay. about her cheeks huh? Ricochet? Out. Ricochet is there Need this evening. Ricochet, Ricochet is unbelievable, yes. by the way. That guy is unreal. Phenomenal. I have no idea I mean, how he does what he does. Just very casual. I'll do a yep. backflip off a guy's chest. Does that every single week. Yeah. yeah. Like, think about what if the person's chest isn't as sturdy? He just good question. Doesn't hey, he did like 15 sweet moves during the commercial break when we were there. I'm like, no, save this for the TV. Oh, man. What are we doing? No, what are you talking? It's a fight. Yeah. He's trying to win. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm saving right. it. Save 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 I can hear Gump say, don't be a mark, pal. Well, did you watch our, me and Gumpy watch our Tribal Chief stuff? Only two in here acknowledge our Tribal Chief last yeah, night. Yeah, thanks for letting us uh, letting What us network is that on? We it forgot. was on A&E. It was fantastic. Two hours. I did not know I was signing up for two I hours. I love Roman. Roman's awesome. Yeah. Started at nine. I had no idea I was signing up for two hours. Worth it. Okay. I wish it was three hours. That's what I wish. Well, they're yeah. going to add one, right? They should. Yeah. They should. What did you find out about Roman? Just like everything we thought. What else? These are fucking. And we added, he's half Samoan, half Sicilian. Bingo. I had no idea he was Paisan. Makes sense. Seru? Yes. Learned it last night. Mom, Sicilian, Italian. Dad, Samoan. So. It's about as cool as you could get, my my friend. I had no idea. Don't, don't be Paisan. singing that Cody my Cry friend. baby song. Yeah, man, why Tony. are you screaming, whoa, yeah, listen, then? You're talking about the Paisano Oos, bro. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. My tribal chief. Mm -hmm. Our tribal chief. Mm -hmm. I can't deny mm -hmm. that Cody's got a very catchy entrance song. You don't sing it if you acknowledge. Eh, How's it go? True. What's it sound like, Tony? What is it? If you guys can do the start, I will do the whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're hoping you would do the whole. Please. <laughs> My mother's dead. <laughs> Fuck 
that. Yeah. Cut the music. Get Boom. in here, cameraman. Boom. Fuck you, cameraman. All right. It's going to be tough today. Let's get out of here. Okay. We appreciate you so much for allowing us to do this every day. It should be a magical week. Friday, we'll be in Philadelphia. It's going to be absurd. Yeah, yeah. Friday's show is going to be absurd. That is the only guarantee in this entire thing. And then, obviously, a massive weekend. Tonight, let's make sure we're watching all the games. Let's make sure we're staying dialed in because it's a great time to be a sports fan, and we're lucky to talk about sports every single day. Be a friend. Tell a friend something nice. You know, check in on your people. It might change their life. We're in this thing together. Team on me. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Goodbye.